You got to ease on down, ease on down the mo. No? Boo? Already? Y'all are booing me already? I can feel it. I can feel it. What's up, guys? Happy Monday to you all. Happy Veterans Day as well. Big shout out to all those who've protected and served. Um, today is uh, Moen Monday. We're going to go ahead and jump back in and try to handle some of those contracts getting us paid so we can expand our mowing arsenal and uh, maybe hire a few people to go through as well. Uh, let's go ahead and say hey to the handful of people who are here. Uh, still, still trying to work back up to that, uh, you know, weekly following that we once had before we took this extended break for Lego Star Wars, which, um, boy, has that hit a wall. Uh, we'll talk more about that tomorrow at our game break. So quick reminder about that, uh, due to a few circumstances, um, tomorrow's game break will actually be at 10 a.m. So I've, I've got some kind of some stuff going on in, in, in the later part of the day. And it uh, wouldn't necessarily directly overlap, but it might. So I've just opted since I don't have, we're not doing Apex anymore. So I figured that we'd go ahead and uh, jump in and uh, handle that earlier. So uh, most of you who are here for the stream should be able to check in and see that as well. I know some of you, it's later or too late for you, so I uh, might actually make it available for you. And some of you are probably feeling the opposite. Like, man, I can never make it in normal time, but I can make five. So uh, flippity flop, floppity flip. Hopefully it'll work out. Uh, let's see here. Early notification squad. Ben was number one. Number two was Paige. And number three was Vegeta. What's up, guys? Thanks for being early. Kirsten and Raised were both here early as well. And let's see here. Lots of talk about lots of stuffs. Uh, yeah, Star Wars week uh, or whatnot has been pretty uh, eventful with lots of announcements. Some, you know, have more meaning, at least to me, than others. Like I saw that the Bad Batch got a season two. So that means I'm going to actually have to watch season one. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I've actually wanted to check it out, but um, I just haven't gotten to it. I, I did see that there was a... Um, like a, what do they call it? A holiday special or something like that for a new one. I didn't, I didn't catch that it was Lego though. I, I guess I missed that part, Ben, which is why I was like wondering if it was live action or people or if it was animated, but if it's a Lego, then yeah, there's probably not a lot they could, I mean, they could do like a cross mix like they've done with Sonic and Roger Rabbit, right? There's, there's a recent reference for you. Um, all right. Scrolling down the list still, we've got, uh, Justin's out there. What up, Justin? Nicola, what is up? Adam's out there too. What is up? What is up? What is up? Now let's see here. Uh, boom. Greg is out there. What up, Greg? Matt, what up, GCU? Playing Detroit Become Human and knocking out those trophies. You know, I never played that game. I've, I've heard a lot of good things about it. Um, I've also heard that it's a little like... It's the word I'm looking for... I mean, lengthy keeps coming to mind. I, I've heard that it's, um, it just feels like it goes on and on and on, much, much like Lego Star Wars, the Skywalker saga. God, that game. Uh, talk about a buzzkill, man. Like, uh, it's fun until you, like, look at the scale of things and you're like, ah, I don't want to do that. I know so many people that have burned out on it in the last week or two trying to finish it up or people who just got it who are already commenting, oh my God, this game is crazy. You know, like, and it doesn't help too that the update that they dropped, uh, what, eight, 10 days ago has broken things. I don't know if you guys even know this. Um, Kirsten and others out there who have finished the free play, uh, me included, we are so lucky that we did it in the time frame we did it in because they've like some of the race times like for example there's there's a race that it used to be like a hundred seconds or something like that that you would start with and and like in order to finish the race you needed like 60 i think i don't remember i don't remember the exact details but basically my videos don't work anymore for any kind of suggestions on time because they've changed the times and they're basically impossible i've gotten tons of comments in the last couple of days like 
this is stupid. Like, why would they do this? You know? And, and, and then people are like, how did you get your time to be so easy? And I'm like, what, what do you mean? And, and I went and looked and, and sure enough, like it is different. Like, that's crazy to me that, and, and I'm guessing that it was a mistake. I'm, I'm guessing they'd probably had like a value for one race and maybe it applied to all races or I, I don't know how many it affects, honestly, but I have had lots of complaints about that. There's also a couple of new game breaking glitches with um, like story progress, not progressing. And again, it's attached to people seemingly wandering and doing some stuff in the area which is a bummer but at the same time like don't give the player the option to do whatever he or she they want right but also like be like oh but if you do it it's gonna break the game like so so either make it super linear and make it so you have to do all this stuff before you can even touch it or definitely try and fix that i mean and and i'm sure they are all right I'm, I'm not ragging on the devs i'm not saying they're bad or whatever they're great and and it just sucks that often when a fix is implied or uh, applied it often for some reason <laughs> breaks because something gets overlooked like everything is supposed to be all compiled in the same so when you take this save and overwrite this one it's supposed to but sometimes something goes wonky in that process and it breaks other things so uh you know free roam i i'm still like right now with the reports i'm getting like i'm hesitant to even get into it because there's all these people that are reporting too like they're saying that they have a quest that is required to to play another quest right so like you have to complete this before this one will be available and they've already completed this one. And this one's still saying that it's not completed. And, and in one case, I actually did find out that the user that was reporting this, because there was huge, like two or three viewers were going back and forth trying to help this other viewer. And um, none of the fixes worked. And in the end, I asked, I said, hey, I see you guys have gone through a lot. By chance, did you use any cheat codes? And the guy responded, yes. But it was for Palpatine. That's not even what's happening here. And I said, well, unfortunately, we've never had like a tracking system as efficient and awesome as Lego Skywalker. So it's hard to say if when the things broke in previous games, what it broke. We don't know for sure that when you unlock the red brick that it didn't credit you for that red. It could have been a different percentage point or something, right? I mean, if it's a glitch, it doesn't necessarily have to have rules. So... um, and I said, I, I don't know. I mean, but this is exactly the type of outcome that would happen when one would use a cheat code. So again, we don't recommend cheat codes. We don't recommend cheat codes. Uh, let's see here. A couple people showing up. What up, Oscar? Welcome to the stream. Ashton, hello. Welcome. Michael's out there too. What up? What up? Uh, I know how to do time racing in Skywalker Saga. Just use vehicles if that one comes out. No, Ben, what I'm saying is the race was tough to get gold at, let's say, 40 seconds, right? Now it's at like 20 seconds or something impossible. So it, 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 I am guessing it's a mistake, not, a, not an intended fix. Um, we're no longer cheats because the codes did appear in Lego sets. That, that's still, there's, there's still cheat codes. And, and in order to get there, you have to, I'm pretty sure that even the menu is still cheat menu. I, I'm pretty sure it's what it says. Um, I could be wrong on that. But that aside... Any codes inputted into the game is what I'm referring to. Call it whatever you want, you know. But uh, ultimately, by using those, it, I, I just don't recommend it. People have had success stories. People have played every LEGO game ever using cheat codes, and some people have made it through fine. I'm not sure what it is, why it is, and how it happens, but it does, in fact, happen. Um, all right, so uh, I do believe I've greeted everybody out there. Uh, I'm sub 10 minutes. Nom would be proud if he wasn't working on site. He would be able to watch and, and harass me and maybe distract me even longer. But uh, let's get into some mowing. Uh, I feel like uh, I can do some chatting while we are driving. Let's see here. One quick second. I got to read a message coming in. Uh, let's see here. Do some. Yeah. <laughs> So I won't mention any names, but I was just having a chat with uh, somebody about, you know, life and Lego and all sorts of things. And um, and it came up Lego Skywalker. And and I just said, I said 
<laughs> so, oh man, I've taken a week off from that game and my stress levels have disappeared completely. Like, I, uh, you know, I'm sure it's different as a player versus a creator, somebody trying to map everything out and do it. And I mean, cause I could just do it, right? I could do it. However, I could start whatever planet I want and jump around and do all this. And, and then if there's requirements, I could go and do those requirements. The only problem I see with that is, is that those requirements are technically missions on other planets. So if somebody, let's say, isn't following our playlist order and they jump into another planet that has requirements for this planet that I'm working on, they might they might never find it because if they're going to like Tatooine, but maybe I've already done the quest on Tatooine attached to Hoth because I was playing and trying to finish Hoth, then they'd have to watch my Hoth video to see the Tatooine mission. Does that make sense? Like, uh, to, and, and if it doesn't, that's exactly my point. It's confusing as crap. Like, I can't believe how, you know, and that was one of my things was just saying, man, I, I can't believe how they attach so many things. Now, likely there's some Star Wars, um, you know, lore or history or reasons why, you know, Hoth would have a mission that needs to be completed on Tatooine first. Um, you know, but but when you're playing the game, as cool as those little tidbits are, it really just gums up the works when people like me are trying to make collectible videos and trying to walk people through it, right? Because uh, not everybody watches the playlist from start to finish. And I just had somebody else asking me too, like, hey, are you gonna do free roam? I really have enjoyed free play. You've helped me get through all of it. Now I'm just waiting for free roam. And I was like, listen, we're likely gonna do it. I'm not sure how it'll all work out yet, but um, we're likely gonna do it. I said, but for what it's worth, even if you just started the game today, there's no way you're, uh, there's no way I'm going to beat you with the videos. Like the videos are going to take so long, especially when I'm returning to streams and I'm only kind of doing free roam part time. If I'm doing the project side, I might just stream it. My wife had a decent idea, stream it, let it stay for a day or two, unlist the video, right? So it's no longer available to be viewed, but it's still on this you know still part of the system all the views all that stuff would still be accounted for because i don't know if you delete that stuff i don't know if you get to count all that or not um but then unlist it right and then download the video and then edit it in a way that would be cleaner because there's likely going to be some downtime or some slop right if i do it that way but then there's the camera there's all these other things that i start going eh. I don't know if I should, I don't know if they'd want to see an edited, like do people, most people that watch the guide videos have never watched the live stream. There's still people that think I have never revealed my face. Like we've had some people that show up, they're like, yo, face reveal. This is so cool. And I'm like, bro, I've been streaming for two years. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, let's go ahead and pick a contract and get to Moen. It looks like we got, uh, ooh, Tyler, what up? Darius, what is up? Welcome. Uh, I'm kind of sad Lego Star Wars doesn't have Clone Wars in the game. I mean, you're talking about the the, the, the animated series, I'm assuming, because uh, there's definitely like Clone Wars time in there, right? Like, uh, but it's not specific to the stories of the animated series, which again, I'm assuming that's what you mean. Oh, let's go ahead and get this biggie done, right? Biggie, 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 can't you see? Sometimes I mow when you hypnotize me. Yeah, it's Memorial Day too. So wife and uh, son are home. There's a possibility of me having a brown pants scenario whilst mowing. Uh, let's hear. Esther says, "Can I get some pointers on being a YouTuber?" Well, that's uh, that, that's sort of a loaded question. Um, first of all, as successful as I might seem or look, um, you know, we are still you know sort of low on the totem pole so to speak um you know we work hard for our money that's the biggest thing is stick with it you know do find something you like doing something that you may have a niche at something you're good with you know there's so many different things to do on youtube whether it's you know cooking whether it's cleaning whether it's you know makeup or uh there's so many different things that you could do there's live live vloggers there's news and stuff which I, news is a tough one because you get on any sensitive topics and youtube will shut your videos down 
Um, you know, some of the news though too, like the algorithm. You know, people people have legit been. Oh, look at that, it's broken. People have legit been doing like the. Uh, so there's a big trial going on right now. We don't need to get into details of who or what, why or when, but there's a big trial right now, and a lot of people have been posting stuff about that trial. Look, look how broken it is. I can see the items. There's one right there, and there's two off back there. And how many more? Oh, I need eight. So I need a bunch more. But um, people have been like, people who are straight up like gamers have been uploading like at least videos talking about that, if not. And they're getting hundreds of thousands of views. Hundreds of thousands. People like, people, you know, smaller channels or people who don't get tons of views like me doing some stuff on that. And they're getting like ungodly views. It's just the algorithm has weak points and people figure it out and exploit it and uh you know so there's goods and bads and i mean like i said find something you like doing you know perfect your craft i i saw something somewhere i don't remember who it was i think it was mr beast somebody who's much bigger and has a lot more experience and success than me uh was saying something like you know find something you like stick with it uh where's that last stinking item there it is right there um and then um you know, and then make 10 videos and just know that every one of those videos is going to be terrible. And then make 10 more videos and know that although you might have improved a little bit, they're still terrible. Make 50 more videos, still not there yet. At your 100th video, you should sort of expect to have some sort of idea of what's good. What, you know, and so that, that was his expectation. That, that's, and I mean, for me... Um, it took us a while, right? We got in over 10 years ago, though. So the market and every, so many things were different. Like, um, so many less people trying to fight for these positions. Oh, that's really loud in my ear. Let me know how. It looks really loud, too. Um, let me know if that's still overpowering me, because it seems really loud. It's really loud in my ear, that's for sure. Uh, but yeah. Twitter! Alright. I think we're good. Thank you, man. I told my wife that you renamed yourself the a the HTG Twitter button. She thought that was pretty funny. I was like, well, he's not wrong. There's many days I would have forgotten to do it if it wasn't for him. <laughs> so thank you for that. Loud for us, too. Is it still loud? Or is it gooder now? I'll drop it way down. Like, I mean, I've had to move the thing, like, halfway down. I don't think the game got an update or anything changed. I haven't changed my settings at all either. Last game we played though was Agent Intercept. So I may have adjusted something for that. Bata, thank you. Thank you. Ooh, bouncy, bouncy. It's good. All right, cool, cool, cool. Thank you, man. Oh, you know what? I didn't set my right height. I was too busy talking right there. Six to seven. I got it at seven. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Killed the engine? Really? How did I even do that? I throttled down. There we go. There we go. I'm surprised it didn't like pop up on screen and be like, Boy, you're bad at reading. I guess maybe I was at seven, so maybe it was counting. Maybe it was counting. All right. Anybody do anything this weekend? We uh, we did a handful of things. We did a bunch of errand running. Uh, I'm going to get in trouble because I know she can hear me. My wife has this obsession with plants that's now turning into an obsession with pots. And, like, I told her the other day, I said, dude, stop buying pots from these people because we're buying these Target pots. And they have, like, these little faces. They're super cute. Like, I, I, don't, I don't blame her for liking them, but I told her, I said, Stop spending your money at Target. Go straight to the company. Like, we should own stock in these guys now. We've bought like 25 of these pots. That's a lot of pots. Um, and uh, so we went and picked up a handful of those. And so she like cleaned out both of our targets in Salem. We have a target in Salem and a target in Kaiser. She cleaned both of them out. And, there, and then there's some other pots on sale. So she went the next day and we had to go get some more of those. So we've got lots of pots. And we've kind of been talking about starting like a... Um, not a nursery per se, but like a um, sort of like a small 
yeah, small nursery. I mean, I guess that's the best way, probably the best term for it. Uh, you know, we thought we might either get in good with somebody at like our f- local farmer's market or perhaps get our own booth going if we can get enough, you know, inventory or whatever. Uh, but, you know, I, I, I've I've had a lot of experience with, you know, landscaping plants and all sorts of stuff in my years on the planet. My uh, my dad is big time into growing anything and everything. We've always had gardens like my grandparents had a huge garden that I used to always have to help with. And even before I lived with them, I was down every summer to help plant. That was like one of my rituals was like to come down and I would help. Our neighbor would come over with the big plow and, you know, we'd pull everything and drag it behind and get everything all smooth. We had all these different tractors to use. It was really cool because my grandparents have sort of like farmland and uh, the neighbor had more farmland and had all the tools. So like grandpa got in good with him and um, yeah. So I've always had sort of an interest in that. I like being outside, especially after the last like five or six years, I've been slammed in this room for the majority of my days and time. So I sort of made a pact to my wife that I would do a better job of like not being locked to the chair all summer because she's a teacher. So we get the summers off or she does. And so we have opportunity to do things. And usually I, I'm, I'm the bummer when I'm like, nah, got to work. So uh, there's going to be some things different this summer. And, and uh, you know, who knows? Like I was talking the other day, uh, I think it was the last game break or maybe it was uh, when I did the Muppet blind bag opening. You know, I talked about, like, maybe not returning to streams after LEGO Star Wars was done. Clearly, that didn't happen, because here I am. But that was kind of the thought process on that, was that summer is only four weeks away. Um, You know, so we'll see how things are going to go in the future. Um, Definitely definitely need to find something that works. Obviously, uh, projects don't quite have the impact as they once did again um lots of lots of places to get your lego information and if you know you guys are in a hurry and ahead of me or whatever the case may be you don't always want to wait and there's often other places to get it so you know i I don't know what'll happen like i we've talked about you know happy thumbs sort of becoming a lego only channel again and like just only doing lego projects And then being sort of a a dormant channel the rest of the year. Um, To be honest with you, I was looking, I'm trying to find out what game I'm going to play on Friday to fill Monday, Wednesday, Friday stream schedule right now. I'm having a heck of a time finding a game that I have not played yet that would be something you guys would be interested in that would be, you know, fun for all, right? Like, but there's hardly i mean sure i could play minecraft or i could play fortnite or you know there are things that i could play in most of those cases though those games require or are better with more people and right now everybody's schedule is pretty wonky i mean uh tune is fairly unavailable teflon what up um you know gray has switched shifts Tyler's house is sort of being remodeled and then he's taking on some extra shifts due to lack of employees right now. Nam is back at work all the time, so he's not available. Robert's working a different shift as well. Um, so, I mean, the people that we would normally see uh, are, are, are not as available. Now, Kirsten's available, so th- we might find some things that are, you know, two-player or whatever, but again, like, Things like Back for Blood or even Evil Dead, you know, four or five player type games uh, just makes it harder to fill those spots, Um, you know, and and there's a good possibility I might check out like, but I mean, like Detroit, we were talking about Detroit uh, earlier, right? Like, what what, what is the rest of Detroit, uh, something human, whatever, whatever it is. There's a lot of those games that are older, but I don't know if anybody would want to watch, right? You know, there's the some other games, too, that are a little greasier. Um, you know, like The Quarry is coming out soon. Again, another four- or five-player game. However, they did delay the multiplayer. So there is definitely a single player on that, which I wasn't sure there was, but there is. So, I mean, there's some stuff coming out, but, I mean, I've not had the greatest luck with getting a brand-new game 
and, and then having people attend and enjoy it. Like, most of the people that are interested in the games that are new, they go buy them and they don't want to watch me play it, right? They avoid for spoilers. Um, and then and then there's the other people who just don't care or not. So it's like, I, there's like a small window. And, you know, I've talked about it a lot in the past. And I think, I think Kirsten has a little better understanding now as some time has gone on. It, it's not as easy as people think of just to pick a game. Like, there's lots of games out there you know, I could branch out and potentially get my PC stream stuff going again, and then I could maybe even get, like, Pressure Washer Simulator going, or, you know, other things like that that are uh, seemingly well-received, you know? I mean, I wouldn't have thought that on however many streams of this we've had, because we played it a bunch on the Xbox a while back, um, you know, I wouldn't expect us to have more than 20, and we do right now. That's crazy to me. So you never know what's going to be good or not. And, you know, as much as I want to enjoy the game, like there has to be a certain amount of my enjoyment. Otherwise, I feel like it comes across as like just a negative experience. But at the same time, I can struggle through some stuff that I don't love, but I don't hate either. I'd love to play some Ultimate Chicken Horse. Like, uh, sadly, Tyler isn't around. Because, you, know, you know, he's he's like the the dream ruiner in that game like anytime you get a chance to do good or win he comes and takes that right away from you but um you know if we had three or four people I'd, I'd consider playing that there's a couple of other games too like there's one like who muted uncle larry or whatever the game is called like there's some other games that are definitely like multiplayer based um so it just gets harder like um a lot of the games that are out for PS5, like, I don't know if you guys have cruised the PlayStation Store for PS5 games. Most of them, and when I say most, I'm saying, like, 60 to 75% of them are, like, little indie games that have, like, like short expectancies, five, ten dollar games. I, I just, it's hard to pick something that's new. Yeah, Teflon, I didn't want to say it, man. We talked about it a little before you got here, but... And how you went down, too. Like, that Jimmy Butler 3 miss at the end after going on a 12-0 run. I mean, Jimmy could have blown right by Al Horford, who was not ready to defend. Nobody was in help position. Jimmy literally could have blown by him and tied the game. But he tried to be Jimmy Hero. Does he not realize he already has a teammate named Tyler Hero? And he wasn't even playing. So, uh, yeah, man. Sorry, Sorry about that. Boston's a great team. I, 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 it's not like they got, I don't know, overloading your engine. Uh, come on now. Yeah, that was, that was a tough way to go. Tough way to go. Come on, man. This isn't even that tall right here. It's taller than I think. So yeah, hey, uh, let's uh, let's toss some uh, some game ideas. I know I saw a couple. I'm scared to play CCH with Tyler. I see t Tomb Raiders out there. Uh, story is really good. Detroit becomes human. Story is really good. Okay. How is it on the greasy level? Is it like very adult? Is it doable? I mean, that's one of those things too, where like. It might be into that, like, old enough for nostalgia value for some. Like, I bet you Brad would show up and be like, Bro, you finally are playing this. This game is awesome. But, I mean, would anybody else? Jurassic World Evolution 2. So, I have one, and I think I think I own them both. I've never played either of them, though. It doesn't matter. Like, would it matter if I started with two versus one? Or should I start with one knowing that I have it? And that's my, my, my dilemma with that one, too. It's like, I, I just don't know how I do. I like those types of games, though, like Zoo Tycoon and things like that. I'm not very good at them, honestly. Um, I don't usually look at guides or try to follow it. I just try to play it and have fun. But I always, like, spend the money and the, I'll, I'll overbuy something. Like, I'll buy, like, a big area for tigers but i only have elephants or something stupid right like i always make a bad choice that ends up plaguing the rest of my game uh, but you know I, I i do like those types of sims where you know you're sort of running parks you know and things like that i just don't know 
if anybody else does. Right? I don't know if y'all would be interested in that. What's up, Alexander? You're the one that suggested uh, Jurassic World Evo 2. All right. But what up, though? Thanks for the suggestion, too. Uh, Brad would be a better person to like to. Little Ghost, what up? All right. Yeah, I've just been looking. And, and um, you know, I've thought about, like, I've even thought about doing crazy stuff. Like, there was a time not long ago I pulled out my PS3. And I did a bunch of, like, PS3 streams. I played Pain and, you know, just some other stuff that was old. Uh, we did Toy Story 3, which I, I heard they're doing a Toy Story 2 remake, which is not the one I played. It's a different one. But, um, and what, Kirsten's OMG and something. What what did I say? What happened? My little, I did see that. I did see that. I did see that. Listen. I have legitimately thought about putting myself at the mercy of my viewers and doing something like, I, I, I'd say, and this is where I get hung up as I don't know exactly how it would work. But the theory or thought is, is that like, let's just pick Fridays, for example, on Fridays, I would let, I would spend the first 10, 15 minutes talking to you guys with maybe a poll, right? The poll would then reference games. And I thought, I thought maybe you guys pick the games that are on the poll. So like, so like maybe at the end of Friday stream, you guys would pick four games or something like that. And so the following Friday, those four games would be on the docket. And I, I, I guess, I don't know, maybe it would be up to me to have all four of those games ready to play, or maybe it gets voted in between and, and, and I figure out which one I am playing. Or, you know, I thought about, too, like having it be where, you know, like I'll play whatever y'all want, but y'all got to buy it. Right. Like, so, if you, you know, you guys pitch in a dollar here, two dollars there. I'll play by Peppa Pig or games like that. My Little Pony, things like that. Right. Um, that I wouldn't pick or might be humiliating for me to play, so to speak. Like, right. Like. Goat Sim Ben says. I've heard that's really hard to platinum. Um, and, and I got to be honest. Um. In the last six months or so, you guys have pretty much chased me away from enjoying Platinum. <laughs> Not really, but like, um, I don't know. I just don't care about them as much. I, I've still got Jumanji on. Like, I could literally quit this game right now and within five minutes have the Jumanji Platinum. But I haven't done it. Kirsten's probably still got it. We talked about maybe doing like a stream that we all got it at the same time, but then Gray went and got it without us. Now Tude's not really available. I mean, he could probably s sneak in for that. Um, but I mean, what do we do? We can't designate a whole stream for that because it's literally five minutes. We're all like one kill away from getting the points we need for Platinum. Um, so, I mean, I'm just not as interested or as needing the Platinum. Like, I still never went back and got Resident Evil 3, even though you guys still won't let me forget about it. Um, you know, I got hosed on the Fall Guys. They switched the game. And I've, I've been told that my trophy progress will carry over. But had I gotten the Platinum on the old version, it would have carried over and I would have got the new one. So it would have been a free Platinum. Uh, but so anyways, I, you know, I, I, I'm open to some ideas. What up, FBI? I'm open to some ideas of doing things. But like, yeah, Barbie. Like, I wouldn't go buy Barbie. But if we had a deal or an agreement where if the chat funds the game, I will play whatever you want, you know. And of course, there'd have to be some restrictions too, because like right now, I don't think my piece, my setup's ready for PC gaming. I know that as we get further in to PC games, the the controller compatibility becomes better and better and better and more likely. Almost all games have that now. It's almost part of the development when when they're making games, and and Steam somehow has this like conversion thing that they do that helps make controllers work too. So. Um, 
all in all, you know, y you guys tell me how you want to do that. Or if I should just pick a stupid game for Fridays and play stupid games. Uh, FBI, I'm doing well. Thank you. Uh, had a pretty exciting weekend. Oh, one thing I didn't tell you guys. Um, car talk. My GTI is, it's a 2012, so it's 10 years old. Uh, as you can imagine, even though I haven't, haven't driven a ton of miles, like it's it's 10 years old and it doesn't even have 100,000 miles on it. I have only put uh, 22,000 miles on it in the four plus years that I've owned it. So I don't drive it a ton. Um, my clear coat on my trunk, my hatch only, just the hatch, N not, not the hood, not the bumpers, not the nothing, just the hatch. The clear coat is peeling big time. And it's been a disgusting sight for a while. Um, I've taken it to a couple places, not been happy with the people or the quotes that I got. Um, and, and so I, I ended up talking to one of my good buddies, Greg. You guys don't know Greg all that well, but you've heard me talk about him a lot. He's building a Golf R32. Um, he, he's been one of my friends forever. He's actually the co-creator of 503, the SOCOM clan that that I played. He me he he's actually the guy who bought me SOCOM originally. He bought me a PlayStation Two and SOCOM when I was hard on my luck. And, uh, and he's the one that got me started. So Greg's like one of my oldest, truest, bestest friends. Um, you know, I got in some trouble and I could have got out of that trouble had I said something about him, but I went to jail and like, like Greg's my road dog. Like, yes, I've been to jail. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a bad boy. Um, but, uh, ultimately, um, Greg hooked me up and he was like, bro, call this dude. And so I finally got to go see that dude and, and I'm getting a quote tomorrow from him. He's already seen the car. He's got to call some places, but obviously things are closed today. So, so I'm pretty stoked. Like my car has been needing paint for a long time and uh, it's likely going to get it in the next month or so, which is awesome. And uh, this dude was cool too. Like he has a house with a lot of property and fenced in. And he's like, yeah, I'm tired of it out here. I think I'm going to move back to Vegas. And we're like, yo, sell your spot to us because <laughs> it's killer and it's just right outside of town uh property taxes would probably be decent decent but uh 16 year old car only has 150 miles. yeah mine mine probably will have about that too um because with the gas prices the way they are and especially once we get our ev once we get our id4 um you know, and, and for what it's worth, like we've actually been talking about the possibilities of, you know, my car is not worth as much as our Honda CRV is, which is what sort of allowed us to get into the concept of an EV. You know, there's the, the $15,000 of possible rebates, which is a real good incentive, but having $20,000 car to trade in or sell to put down down payment on top of that is huge. Now my car, if I private party sold it, I could probably get, especially if we fix the paint and get the 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 the, the roof wrapped like I want, I could probably get fourteen for it. Um, but if I sold it outright, like if I sold it to like Carmax or whatever, I bet you'd be like twelve. So twelve is not nearly as, and even fourteen is not as good as the twenty. What's up, Stuart? Welcome. Oh, come on. I looked over at the chat and botched the turn. <laughs> what up? 2010 Impala. Wait a minute, though. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is the Impala still around? I feel like there was a, a photo sent to me not long ago that maybe maybe had uh, maybe a time of death reported. <laughs> I can't remember how bad it was. Didn't, didn't the ice storm do a number on your Impala? Impala, shot collar, 20 inch blade on the lawn mower. Oh, that was the Malibu, okay. Same thing, Malibu, Impala. I didn't realize you guys were like into them Chevys like that. Did you guys, you guys like my adaptation of the song? <laughs> 20 inch blade on the lawn mower. I don't know. Loki might be able to get one karaoke vid out of last week's stream and this week's stream. Ah. 
I gotta be honest, if we ended up buying that dude's property, which is very unlikely, very unlikely, this would be me in real life, because there is so much grass. So much grass. Uh, although I wouldn't have, like, sound dampeners on. I'd have headphones on. I'd be rocking out to some tunes. You know, that's one thing that I would love to see, and, and I know why they don't do it. I know why they don't do it. But I would love to see the ability to play your own music off your hard drive of your PS5 with your games. I don't know if you guys remember this. There were a ton of games, maybe all of them, on the PS3. Yes, on the 3. One of the more limited devices that was out there back then. You could literally transfer... You could put a CD in or put a USB stick in with MP3s and transfer your music to the hard drive of the PlayStation. And then you could literally like be playing a game, toggle up the menu, go through, choose your songs and play whatever you wanted. And I remember I had one album. We won't talk about that album because it's not. <laughs> I used to play. It was like my motivational album. And, and I, for some reason, I would get in these grooves listening to this album. And, and I got some really tough trophies on a game called Super Stardust HD. In fact, I got trophies that people accused me of cheating somehow. Hey, Bendy Plush Official, thanks for the sub. Welcome to the channel. Hopefully you enjoy our content. Uh, 1982 moped has about 200. Bro, 250 miles on it? You want to sell me your moped, bro? The only the only stipulation is you need to ride it here. That's my only stipulation. I will buy your moped. But you got to ride it here. What up, Darth? Welcome back. How can you even cheat? Oh, I don't know about that. I, I, I'm not traditionally known as a cheater. In fact, I don't even use cheat codes in LEGO games. Um, technically, they were given to us by the developer to be used, but obviously we know that they have come with some problems in the past. Therefore, I do not recommend them. Um, but yeah, I, I don't... I, I'm not known for cheating, e even when there are stuff... Like, even the Mandalorian glitch and things that were just available in LEGO Star Wars. Most of those glitches were harmless, didn't affect your gameplay or anything, but I just don't do them. You know, uh, Call of Duty and stuff, there's always cheaters and things you can do to exploit the game. I tell my son all the time, don't do it. You could get banned. Sometimes those servers have protocols that search things, and if they find that you're doing some of them things, it could be bad news bears. Walter Matho. No worries, FBI. We're, we got no plans to stop right now. We may uh, we may change our formatting up a little bit and do things a little bit different, like with summertime and stuff. But uh, all in all, we're going to keep on with the keeping on. But yeah, finding some solid games that have some length to them. Giggity. Uh, that I enjoy, that you guys would enjoy and watch, that we haven't played already. You know, the wife suggested that I stream the Lego Star Wars planets, like I said, you know, and do those like Monday, Wednesday, Friday until I'm done with them and just do like one planet per stream, sort of like others have been doing. And uh, and then unlist them a few days after they've gone live to, you know, basically make them so that nobody can view them. And the reason for that would be is so that we could make them into a guide video. Uh, I just don't know how it'll all work. That's a lot of editing. Not that we don't always, but like, I mean, I guess I could put quick links on top. You know, I could make them because they wouldn't have the annotations, like the, the markings, the labelings from the streams. I don't know. You're not, you think you're the only one streaming one planet at a time? And you've done a couple planets back to back and some of them, haven't you? I feel like there's been a couple times that you did more than one planet in the stream. Maybe not though. Maybe not.
Yeah, and the other thing, too, is did I miss the window for Lego Skywalker? You know what I mean? Like, the hype is sort of, I don't want to say done or over, but, like, the majority of people that would be interested to see it who haven't played it or whatever, I, I think that number has gotten extremely smaller since, you know, April 5th. Some quest takes you off the planet. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I, I, I know. And I don't have a pro. So here's my problem with those. I don't mind if, say, a quest requires you to go get some parts, right? Like you got to go and find some scattered parts, right? And it takes you to another planet where those parts would be more, you know, likely to be, right? Whether it's ice parts or machine parts or whatever it is right like i don't mind that especially if it takes you right back because often it'll say your quest is completed would you like to return these parts or whatever and, and you say yeah and it takes you right back right like that i don't mind that the stuff that i'm not cool with is like i mentioned earlier there are some quests that are not that way that are just required to be completed from other planets so like on hoth for example you need to have a couple of quests from Tatooine done. Um, you also have to have all of Story Beat. Like, so the whole concept of doing free roam before Story is beat is, is impossible to 100% because there are some planets and places that won't unlock until you're done. So, like, it, I don't know. But the whole order, like, like Tyler says... I don't remember. It's a sweet, sweet mess. Or so I don't remember exactly how it says it, but like, uh, and it, and it is. Um, you know, he's got a bunch of reference notes that tell me like, you know, there are quests on this planet that need to be done before doing this planet. So I have like a cheat sheet of like I don't know eight or ten planets, but that's eight or ten, and, and you know, I don't know. I, I've got a game plan. I am. Right now, as it sits, tomorrow is game break. As soon as game break is done, I am going to attempt to scout a planet. Let's see here. I can even tell you what planet it is. Uh, it'll likely be either Kashyyyk or Naboo. Uh, no, it'll be Kashyyyk. It'll be Kashyyyk. And then it might be Geonosis. Yeah, see, but that's so it, it's crazy because like, okay, so in order to do Coruscant, there are missions on Takodana that you have to do first. But in order to do Coruscant, there are missions on Jakku that need to be done first. Now from there, it looks like I might be able to do Jakku first, then do Coruscant, then do Takodana. But there's no guarantee that that'll work out. Um, I do know that, let's say I get it all done. And, and this happened to me. I did a scout for Hoth because Hoth wasn't on this list, right? And and um, Hoth was one of the first planets that Tyler did. So I thought, okay, although I wasn't sure it would be safe, I'm going to try it. So I did the whole friggin' thing. And when I got all the way done with scouting, there was still five bricks that I didn't have. And when I went to the missions and quests and all that, whatever, you know, right, the, to, to the rumor section, um, there was uh, one or two that required me to finish the story. And at that time, I'd finished all but the, the episode nine. So there was something in episode nine that unlocked something for one of those quests, likely a planet or something that needed to be. Um, but then there was a couple of Tatooine missions. And, and so it's like, okay, so then I could easily just go to Tatooine and do those missions. Maybe. I don't know exactly if I can target. Like, I don't think I can go, okay, rumor says I need to go to Tatooine to do this mission. I don't know if I can tag that mission from the rumor then go to Tatooine and have it take me right to the mission? Or if I have to figure out which one of the missions it is in order to do it, right? So there's there's some of that too. And so, um, you know, some of you may be able to answer that stuff and, and it may help simplify some of it. Uh, I know I can track the missions. I, I know that. But what I'm saying is, if I'm on Hoth and there is a mission for Tatooine, 
that needs to be completed before the next mission on Hoth will appear. If I buy that rumor, can I target that mission so that when I land on Tatooine, it's marked for me? That's what I, because uh, if that's the case, that'll help with that aspect of it. Because my worry is I don't want to land on Tatooine and go, okay, is this the mission? No. Okay, is this the mission? No. Okay, is this the mission? No. 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 So it will guide me to it, Adam says. You have to figure out what the mission is. So, but that's my point though. So if, if Haas says I have to complete a mission in the rumor, like, right, if I buy them the rumor for whatever brick that it is that I'm missing, right? Um, will it tell me the mission name and will I be able to track that right away? So, I mean, there, there's some things that I will be able to figure out on my scouting, which I just I literally, so I took a couple days off last week so that I could get a break after doing free play. Um, then on Tuesday, I returned to story and played basically the entire story over again. But I did this on my PS4 save so that I could scout on my PS4 and not have to worry about my save on the PS5 unless I really needed to revert it. I also have multiple steps and multiple saves that I can make on a PS4 where I can only make one save at a time on the PS5. So I've even thought about maybe doing the free roam on the PS4, but everything's different. Like I haven't completed free play. There's a lot of stats that aren't going to match up. And I didn't really want to do all that over again. Not yet anyways. It will. Yeah, you should unlock trout. Okay. Well, that's helpful. But again, the crappy part about that is, is that although it will take you and show you whatever planet, wherever it is, that mission is technically a mission for that planet. Right? So again, if I'm on Hoth, but there needs to be stuff done on Tatooine, I can simply go there. And as a player, it's not a problem, right? But if somebody shows up to Hoth and they want to see all of my stuff for Hoth, they're going to play along and they're going to get that Tatooine, right? But if they show up to my Tatooine video trying to get all of Tatooine, there's going to be at least one mission missing from that video because we got it in our Hoth video. Sure, I can talk about it. I could even leave notes. But you have to remember... Not everybody as is as forgiving as most of you are. <laughs> you know what I mean? So like, um, it's a tough world out there. Let's see here. You should be able to unlock. Yes, when you buy the room. So hopefully that'll hopefully that'll work out. But again, the goal would be to figure out the route in which I don't have to. Some of the planet, some of the missions make you leave off planet anyways. I, I'm not worried about that. But the missions that are tied to other planets that are required to complete the planet, that's the ones that I'm worried about. Uh, have you ever played Lego Star Wars Complete Saga? Yes, we actually, uh, yes, yes. I did full series on that. It was quite fun, quite fun. If you start the quest on Hoth and the quest completed is for Hoth, not the other planet. That's not what I'm saying, eh. That's not what I'm saying at all. You're late to the party here. Um, there are unlocks that happen. So, again, I played Hoth. I got everything on the map. Everything was accounted for. But I was like 87%. And when I went to my rumor section, where all my quest puzzles and all those things are, there were five things that needed to be done on other planets. So not quests starting on Hoth. They were quests on other planets that needed to be completed before they were unlocked on Hoth. Does that make sense? I'm trying to explain it in a way that makes sense. And I'm not always good at that. Uh, let's see, I love the game. Plus, Yes, we definitely have. Uh, the only Lego game we have not covered uh, entirely. I mean, obviously, we're still working on Skywalker, but it would be Lego Indy 2. Uh, so, so yeah, so you're right. Uh, you're totally right. But that's not exactly what I was saying. Uh, what's up, Andrea? Welcome to the stream. All right. 
so yeah, it's it's been stressful. Like like legit like lose sleep stressful. Like I know that's stupid, but that's real. Like I I have literally had a hard time trying to figure out what my um what my best plan of attack is. You know, and my wife's like, because I told her the streaming is the easiest for me. Because if I just streamed it, then I could be willy nilly. There's no pressure. But then there's that decently large group of people that is going to want free roam videos or has requested or voted for whenever we've talked about it. Um, and they're going to be lacking it. But like I've told a couple of other people, like the people who really want and need that are like, hey, I'm waiting for your free roam. Yeah you are largely going to be done. I, I, I can't imagine you wouldn't be done long before I get done without any help. And, and that's where I'm at. Like, I, I've, I've asked a bunch of people. I mean, Kirsten can maybe confirm or deny, but when we've talked, like, it's not hard. I mean, there's a couple of puzzles that are whatever that are, like, make you think, like, okay, where do I find this, or where is that at, or okay, there's got to be a plug around here somewhere to pull or something. But ultimately... There, it, it's like all the puzzles that have like fuses that are required. All the fuses are real close, right? You got to smash a box. And then even more so, if there is a fuse in a box that you need to smash, that box will flash softly, but it flashes, you know? So there's like all these things. And, and the fact too, that like before, like, like let's go to Lego Batman three, for example, one of the most notorious things in free roam was there was multiple collectibles. I can't remember what they were. They weren't cats. But even in Marvel superheroes, there was cats, which I still get. I should go and delete that comment I made because I still get crap for it like once a week. I made a comment about a certain old timer group of people eating cats. And at the time I was dumb and I legit thought that was real. Like I, I wasn't trying to be, I mean, I was kind of trying to be funny because of the fact that it used to be a thing, but I didn't realize that I was wrong and it didn't really used to be a thing. Um, but ironically, it wasn't too far from the truth, but it's still like it, it, it upset people. And anyways, um, but those collectibles, those cats, dogs, whatever they are, aliens, the little bits that are scattered throughout, those weren't trackable. You couldn't mark or get rumors or they didn't have blips on the compasses if they even had a compass or a map. And so, like, I don't know. I just feel like this free roam is so different. And a lot of people are still upset that I didn't do Super or uh, Marvel Super Heroes 1, right? We, we didn't do the free roam. To be honest with you, Dougie told me they were too easy. So that was easy. And his complaint was, bro, I did it so fast that I didn't even document anything. So, sorry, you're on your own. And I was like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> so, um... But yeah, you know what I mean? I, I don't know, guys. I don't know. I mean, like, definitely lots of options of things to do, what the best option is. I, I mean, no matter what I choose, it's not going to be the best option for everybody, right? Like, there's going to be that group. You, you can't please everyone. Um, but free roam was pretty easy in my opinion everything was pretty easy to track and find and, and that's what i'm hearing from a majority of people like tyler told me in the beginning he's laughed gray said the same thing both of them were like dude it is so easy it is so easy like you have no idea how easy it is it's just absolutely mind-bogglingly long because i mean i'm done with free play and story and i've got all that done and i think there's still like like 860 collectibles or 900 collectibles or something. That's a lot. It's up there with, uh, you know, Dimensions or even Lego City, right? Like, both of those had an astronomical amount of collectibles. I mean, there was only four, I think, 440 gold bricks. But, I mean, there were so many characters. There were so many, you know, there was lots of things. Lots of things. Targets are tricky to find. Yeah, but I mean, tricky in the sense that you needed a video or just took you a minute to find them. You know, and, and you know, no one person's answer, like I said, is going to be able to solve my problem of what to do. Um, you know, and everybody's got a suggestion on what to do, which is helpful in some ways, but <laughs> they're basically the same ones in different wording or whatever. It's like, yeah, I just... 
It's kind of like, are you going to cover Lego Star Wars? <laughs> no, I'm not. I just got sick and tired of ass answering that. Too many people asked it. So, I, you know, my goal right now is I've, I've got a track. I've, I've got sort of a route. Oops. I'm going to try to nail a few free roam planets. Um, you know, and I've sort of, you know, it, it just sucks because, like, I, I'm sure it has something to do with like my OCD, which I know a lot of people say, oh, I'm OCD, and they're just saying that. No, I, I, I'm sure that I have some OCD tendencies. Like, um, I just, I, I have this desire to be perfect or not to do it at all. It's not so much a desire or, or worry of failing or any of that. At least I don't feel like it is. It's just more of like, if you're not going to do it right, don't do it at all. You know, no sense in making like, like I, I wouldn't have ever recorded videos with a camcorder watching my TV. Like no offense or anything to anybody who's ever chose that route, right? But I just don't find that as being the right way to do it. Um, I, there's a lot of things that, you know... I mean, even things with my car, like I just, I struggle with stuff. Like if I can't do it exactly how it should be done, like, like if I make a plan and I have a vision, my wife hates this. If I have a plan and a vision and then like it doesn't come to fruition, like I sort of just have a meltdown. Cause like my brain's like, no, it wasn't supposed to be this way. Like it was supposed to be that way. Like, and, and I struggle with that stuff. And so, you know, again, by not being able to necessarily hundred percent a planet, without potentially having to have other planets done first and not having a specific order. That's the one thing I think they didn't track was the unlock order of the planets. And, you know, had I have known that before we started playing, you know, Tyler, Gray, Kirsten, everybody who was playing could have potentially made their own list or tracked it in some way. And maybe there is a list out there that exists because if there is a perfect, you know, start with this planet, get to the end with that, I would use that. And I would even give shout outs to the people who did the info. You know, Tyler, like I said, he got a handful of them. Um, let's see here, we got... So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, and then it says Tatooine for a lot. Meaning that basically do Tatooine early because you won't have as many things later. Uh, okay. So, uh, yeah. Those things, the story mode on the games is the full game. How it doesn't really enjoy the intention of the freeway. Just say, man, it's tough. Yeah, yeah. What up, Chacho? That is called being a perfectionist, my dude. Well, yes and no. It, it's more than that. Like, I mean, maybe. I feel like it's more than that, though. What's this? What's this? What's this? Okay. I saw PAX, but it's not regarding anything of importance. The, uh... I need to figure that out, too. Like, if I'm actually going to PAX and how that'll look. Like, what I will try to represent. Like, getting interviews and stuff like that is very possible. But having a cameraman and stuff. Roxum, what's up? Thanks for the sub. Welcome to the channel. Hopefully you enjoy our content. Like, I used to have uh, a buddy who was really into uh, filming and uh, had a really nice camera. In fact, um, at some point soon, I hope to share some footage with you that nobody has ever seen. You guys haven't seen it. People have seen it. You haven't seen it. Um, and uh, where I was, I, I did some interviewing of some pretty big people. And um, he had a really nice camera and brought it and filmed me do it. Um, but, you know, even like Reese, like I've tried to get him involved. He's capable as far as his talent and stuff. It's just not something he's interested in. Um, and that's kind of what I run into. Even when I went up to PAX a few times with like Mark and Doug, in fact, nine years, it's been nine years since Doug went. He just posted that the other day when we got our tickets and media passes nine years ago when he went. That's crazy to me. Um, but uh, no, nobody wanted to hold the camera. Like, Mark finally, like, was like, fine, I'll do it. But, like, Doug was like, nope, you're on your own, bro. Get a tripod. You know, and it's like, tripods work. But when you've got a team of people, 
it just makes so much more sense to have a cameraman, right? And uh, I got lots of equipment, booms, cameras, all that stuff. Um, but we haven't gone in a long time. Reese says he's interested in going this year, but I don't know what that means or what it looks like. When I took him a few years back, I think it was 2016, um, we were just spectators. We were walking around, just hanging out, no interviews, no no real agenda. Um, and so uh, different, different for work purposes because, you know, you got to wait in line for things or sit around and wait for interviews. But, yeah, we might go. We might go. What? Chacho got a PS5? What? Did I did I really read that correctly? I see Teflon saying that. You got a PS5. Nice one. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about that tomorrow uh, because there is a drop coming in a couple days, uh, and I will actually be attempting to get one. It's the first time I've tried in a long time, but I had a friend... Uh, my buddy who owns the Glowforge that made the Thumby in the background back there and uh, and some other stuff, the wood Thumby stickers and whatevs, he, uh, he's he been trying to get one. And I, I didn't know this, but he's been trying to get one and had, having trouble. So uh, we talked a couple weeks ago about it, and he was all in, like, yeah, bro, I'll, I'll do it. You know, you don't need to do it, I'll do it. But I haven't heard from him, and I've sent him some more tips and info, and he hasn't responded, so I don't know. But I, So I'm just going to get one or try to get one and then worst case scenario like absolute worst um, I can return it to Walmart or you know if I know somebody else that wants it we can work something else out boy uh, this is a long mow job and my blade is messed up I wonder I've noticed that there's grass not being cut and, and what's dumb is that I haven't hit any rocks or anything with my blade. I've literally just tapped the bar on the front up against the trees as I'm trying to get close to them. But the blade condition's down there pretty far as a result of that, which is, in my opinion, unfair punishment. Uh, okay, we be playing Lego Brawls. Uh, maybe? I mean, it, it's it's a... It's basically a mobile game. I, I want everybody to understand that. It, it is a mobile game. So so once that is understood, I think the idea or understanding of it will be a little easier. It, it, it's legit a mobile game. It's been on Apple Arcade for a year plus. It's the only game that I actually chose not to play that was Lego based. Um, I know that a couple of our viewers checked it out they were not impressed and that was largely the reason why i passed on it just wasn't um it, it's it's very different it's a smasher it's i don't know and maybe being on mobile will be different than playing but I, I, it's my understanding that it's going to be cross play i don't know if that's been confirmed or not uh but i i have heard that that you'll be able to play you know people with iphones will be able to play against people on playstation 5s that's what i have read whether that is official or not, I don't know. Um, but yes, the Brawls is definitely a mobile game being brought to uh, consoles. And I mean, hey, people have played and had fun with other mobile games, like Among Us, for example, right? Uh, but as far as will I be like maining it or anything like that, I mean, I might stream it a day or two. If it does well, if we really enjoy it, if I have people to play it with and it all works out, it might stick around. But at this point, I don't, I see it being sort of like Lego Journey or what is it, uh, Builder's Journey. Like I see it getting a, a moment or two, but I, I, it'll just depend on how, how it performs. Not only for fun, but also, you know, analytically too. Yeah, I, uh, I mean, I could check it out right now. We could stop this, and I could hop onto my Apple Arcade, and we could play it right now to see it. But I, like I said, I, I've been told that it's not a great game. And knowing that it's a mobile game, it's the expectations, I think, uh, are a little better suited at that point. I am curious to see what the other TT game is that they're supposedly working on. You know, is it another... Marvel game? Is it a DC game? Like, is it a 
something completely new, you know? I'm wondering if I'm going to have to... Uh, I'm going to go fix my blade right now because there's a lot of grass being left behind. And I wonder if, like, each 0.1% of blade or whatever that's there is going to end up ruining my overall. Get off. No, that is correct. It's not a regular Lego game with collect. It's like a... It's like a mobile version of, um, uh, what is it? Uh, Smash Bros. It's like a Lego mobile version of Smash Bros. That That's my uh, take on it. Now, it, it's likely going to be a little bit different than that, but, uh, yeah. No, 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 no. Now I can see why. Yeah, yeah, no, that's, that's not the case. I, I mean... Listen, if that is the game that TT Games is working on, we're doomed, y'all. We're doomed. I I'm I'm 90% sure, though, that it's not. Because it wasn't even developed by TT Games to begin with. I don't remember the developer. It might have even just been an in-house Apple. But I, I feel like there's another... I feel like there's another company that did those games. Because there's a couple of them on Apple Arcade right now. Um, some of them are fun. There's a couple of them. Some of them are turn-based, some of them are... You know, there was one that was sort of kind of like Worlds. What, what was that one called? It was the Star Wars one. Battle Star Wars Battles? No, Battles was the turn-based one. What was the other one that... Brawl Stars. Yeah, that's probably a better comparison to Brawl Stars. Mobile Brawl game. I never played Brawl Stars. I know that Reese and his buddies played the crap out of it. They were always trying to get me to play it, but I was like, it's a mobile game. I don't play mobile games. Oh, snap. Jim, thanks for the sub. Welcome to the channel. Hopefully you enjoy your content. Brawl Stars is so good. Yeah, I know that a lot of people have gotten a lot of, a lot of hours killed playing that game. I just never played it. I, for mobile, I, I'm honestly like... Uh, like Gray and I were talking the other day, and, and, and Kirsten and Raised, be forewarned, um, Tyler's dreams are finally going to come true. I, uh, I've really been thinking about just ditching Skype. I know that's kind of our norm, but I mean, I'm on Discord like every day. The original reason I didn't want to was because not everybody was on it. Now everybody's on it. You know, I know how to work it real well now, where when it was first being pushed on me, I didn't. And it was sort of confusing with all the channels and the invites and all that. That was just weird to me. But I understand it all now. Uh, old man Brian Brain got it figured out. So I've been considering that. When I told Gray that, he said, oh, no way. I hate I hate Discord on my mobile. And I was like, well, I don't rarely ever use it. I said, same with Skype. And um you know, with, like, Skype, I haven't been getting all my notifications. Now, I know in the last couple weeks, I've been on Do Not Disturb, so that's largely part of it. But even th with it not on, I'm not getting a lot. And Todd isn't claiming he's getting his either. Can't speak the truth of that or not, but I, I, I trust him, so I assume that's the case. Um, so I've just been thinking about, you know, no sense in us all having to have two. And I mean, if you guys only use it because of me and are largely on Discord as well, then there's really no other reason. But like back in the day, I used to have t tons of people I communicated with on Skype. It's not that way anymore, like at all. In fact, most of the people on my friends list haven't even been online in like a year or two. So Discord for the win. Especially with it being integrated into the PlayStation soon. Which I don't know when that's supposed to happen. What? Anyone else watching what? Oh, yeah. We binged the crap out of that. It's excellent. We talked about it right at the beginning. Um, four, four is... So, first season, by far my favorite. Uh, just how they did it. How how mysterious it was. And, and all the homage to, you know, basically the 80s, right? Was my childhood. And it really 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 resonated with me i loved it two wasn't that impressed it was like like a lot of other things it was like you know i'm glad it's still going but boy it just didn't have the same effect that season one had on me season three came around and i liked it a lot better with all the you know you know the mall stuff and and just how they brought it like there was just a lot more 
stuff that I enjoyed. And now four, four, like, I mean, all of the references and callbacks to horror in the like all of the stuff like there's so many moments that i'm like oh my god that's from this or oh my god that's from that and my you know my son doesn't know all of it like he's watched all the friday the 13th uh but he hasn't seen all the nightmare on elm streets he has not seen all the halloweens he's not seen all he hasn't seen hellraiser he hasn't seen and there's so like he's seen the evil deads but there's so many references so many things like the you know i, I don't want to get into it but there's like definitely evil dead stuff there's definitely Freddy Krueger stuff. There's, de I mean, there's, so, and, and the fact that the cast too. Like, I won't get into that either. But like, some of the castings that they have, it's like, what? Like, they really went all in for season four, which I'm glad they did because it's supposed to be the last one, right? Like, my one complaint is, and I've seen this in a lot of places, and I'm gonna piss a lot of people off right now. I'm gonna piss a lot of people off. Ready? Ready for this? You sure? I don't think you're ready for this. You're not going to like this take. Why is Will still in the show? Again, I don't want to get into spoilers or anything like that. First of all, haircut. Gotta go. I've actually seen articles with him saying... I even talked to the Duffer Bros, and the Duffer Bros were pretty set on me keeping this haircut. Okay, so that right there is enough to piss me off. I am impressed with the amount of dialogue he has, but the relevance really bothers me. <laughs> Who's Will? <laughs> uh, are, you, are you not familiar with the show? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you kind of see my point, right? Um, I don't want to ruin anything, but for for people who haven't seen it, season one was more or less all about Will. Okay. Again, not going to get into details, but it was all about Will. In the end, happy ending, right? Since then... Like, literally, if they would have written Will out of the show, it wouldn't have... I don't think it would have changed the show, like, at all. Like, he's not... He he doesn't bring anything to the show anymore. It's not his fault. But I just don't understand why he's even in the show anymore. Like, season one, it was all about Will. Like, all about Will. Despite the fact that he was hardly in any of it, right? <laughs> I mean, it was, he was. He was in a lot of it, I guess. But um, I just, you know, that, that's my only real complaint about the show and this season is that... I, and I mentioned that to the wife. I said, you know, I, I'm actually impressed with the amount of dialogue he's got. But his relevance to the show is harder and harder to, to find. Yes. Great show. Yeah, never tell me the odds. I, how convenient was it, too, that we just got done, you know, play? Yeah, I, I, there's so much stuff. So much. The Star Wars refs, all the Star Wars stuff. Yes, definitely. I, I mean, I love it. They, they did an amazing job. Like I said in the chat earlier, they do an amazing job of tipping the cap or involving this stuff without, like all the stuff we're used to, without stealing or having to recreate or reboot it, right? Like, again, not gonna ruin stuff, but all the references, and if you're if, if you're old like me and, and you grew up during the time that this is largely taking place, you know, and, and honestly, like, they nailed it. They really nailed it. Um, and I actually read a bunch of uh, like each episode has a tip of the cap to different things um, and, and there's it's, it's all like there was a couple of things that actually went over my head that I didn't even catch and I was like oh yeah I, I, I totally see that now like a line right that was used or a reference point to another 
or how they handle a certain situation or maybe a sound that's used or, uh, you know, like definitely some cool stuff. And I'm very much looking forward to uh, the next two episodes, which I know there's only two, but it's actually like four hours worth of episodes. One's two hours and like 38 minutes or something like that. And the other one's supposed to be like 96 minutes or 86 minutes reset. So we get like an hour and a half in the first one and just over two and a half in the second one. So and that's only July 1st that it comes out. Uh, and that's only a few weeks away. I don't know why they did it this way. I really don't. They did this with Ozark too. They split up the Ozark ending. Um, I, I think it'll be a common place. I, I would rather see it this way than have it be an episodic release like Apple TV does most of their stuff. I love a lot of the Apple TV programming, but I hate that they make you have to have like you, like Robert, our good buddy Bobby. He will buy a service for a month and watch the crap out of like four or five shows that he wants to watch. And then he'll cancel it because he doesn't need it full time. He watches what he needs to and then he waits for it to come back. So in his case, he'll have to wait until the show is fully out. Or in some cases, he'll wait for two or three seasons. to. So he'll wait two or three years sometimes. So they're, you know, they're missing out on a lot of his money as a result of how they release things. And I'm sure other people are that way, too. But there's a lot of idiots like me that just buy them all and then never watch any of them <laughs> and have subscriptions to everything, you know? We watch a lot of Netflix and a lot of Hulu, for sure. We never watch Amazon Prime. Now, if, it, if, it had to, if you had to pay extra for their video service on top of their overall Prime thing, right, we wouldn't buy it. We, we never watch the programming on there. I don't think there's anything on there that we've loved. Now, my wife has enjoyed and my, my mother-in-law have been uh, into The Marvelous Miss Maisel. And I, I think they're a little biased perhaps i mean the show may be good but a little biased a little bit because uh we we have we happen to know somebody really close to us that's the costume designer on that show and so um as a result like like i said there might be a little biasness but um uh, other than that show i don't i can't remember any other shows that we've watched continuously um not hating on it there might be some gems that i'm not aware of i just i don't know i don't get into that but um, and then what's another one? Disney Plus is another one that we don't watch very often. We are right now because of Obi Wan Kenobi, and we did when the Mandalorian and, and Boba Fett. But I mean, you know, beyond me binging out the Star Wars movies again just to get caught up and get my, you know, stuff all polished, I I, I haven't watched. We did watch Moon Knight too. So I mean, we we watch it in in chunks, right? Like when something new comes out, we we go there. But we don't frequent Disney Plus very often beyond that. Uh, the boys, we started watching that. We actually really liked it, and and then we just quit watching it. And I brought it up multiple times, and and nobody seems interested in it. My wife's like, "Those that was a really dark show, and, and it is pretty dark. It's about superheroes, but they're not necessarily super. <laughs> they have superpowers, but they're you know, um, you know, some of them are good. What's it? Starlight? I think is her name." There, there's a couple that have some good heads on their shoulders, but there's a lot of stuff that goes on. It's it's pretty greasy, but it's pretty real, I would imagine, too, minus the superpowers. Um, no hate on the show, but I don't understand how these evil characters work. The random character in the floor getting a chance. Ah. Uh, well, um, yeah, I, I, I as soon as they started playing D&D &D at the beginning of Season 4, that's the first thing I hollered out to my wife. Stop! campaigning every time you campaign it comes to life right like um so that that there is that i i don't disagree with that it's, it's sort of predictable in that sense um but how how it all transpires and ends and everything i don't know but but like there is like everything about the main character especially in season four but everything about the main characters they all have some sort of uh, reference or homage to other things while also having their own creative spin on it. But like, um, yeah, like I said, I don't want to get into it because a lot of people haven't watched it yet. But uh, yeah, there's lots of references. Comicbook.com had an article on it like yesterday or the day before. Um, and it was all about the, the, the Easter eggs or sort of homage reference points that they did. Um 
and, and like I said, there's a few of them that I didn't even catch. But, you know, I, I grew up watching, you know, when I was in fourth grade, fifth grade, you know, we were watching Nightmare on Elm Streets and Friday the 13th and, uh, you know, Halloween and all those things. We, uh, you know, parenting was much different back then. My dad was never one to, like, let me have at it, but I had friends' parents that would, so <laughs> we spent a lot of time over there. Uh, so if new SOCOM was live, it would be. I, I, I don't know. Uh, uh, if, if there was a SOCOM movie, I would imagine it would have a really high budget and be something like Top Gun. You know, like, m when military is involved, I, I would expect it to have, like, real me military presence and... Um, you know, but I, I would definitely be into all of that. And I, I like, you know, I, I, I'm kind of bummed that Reese has not seen the Nightmare on Elm Street movies, but at the same time, they're also pretty, like, terrible movies. Like, like especially at this day and age, like, the practical effects aren't as good as they were, and, like, the quality watching on 4K TVs, which it's hard for us not to do because we don't have a non-4K TVs. Um, right, so like the quality is always lesser, it's always pixely and stretchy. But uh, I don't, I don't know. Maybe they've done some 4K remasters. I haven't really looked into that. The digital stuff might even be. I, I don't even know where to watch them. I wonder if Netflix has them. I'll have to look into that. I wouldn't mind watching them. Uh, two messed me up, dude. Two messed me up bad. <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, man, those movies are fun though we used to have these little I don't remember what they were called but we could fold up a piece of paper and you could make little Freddy Krueger claws it's pretty fun got in a lot of trouble making those in class instead of doing homework or doing the projects uh, part 2 messed me up bro part 2 messed me up Yeah, there was some really good, like the waterbed. Like there was some really good practical stuff back then, but like now, doesn't nearly hold up like it once did. I mean, it. it I mean, I for sure experienced some nightmares after watching those movies. <laughs> yeah, the Halloween costume with a glove. Why does that not surprise me? <laughs> now, did you grow up in Albany or Salem? Or, or somewhere else, I guess. That's a possibility, too. But knowing that you're local, I don't know that I've ever asked you, like, what schools you went to and everything. I, I actually grew up in Beaverton, um, if you didn't know. I, I went to Sunset High School for my, uh, well, Beaverton schools are different. Uh, I went to junior high instead of a middle school. So I, I went to, uh, you know, K through five and then i had six seven no sorry seven eight nine seven eight nine so k through six seven eight nine and then ten eleven twelve and then i came down here and it was very different uh you had middle schools instead of junior high and uh but yeah so i went to bethany elementary meadow park middles or junior high and uh sunset for my junior year and then I ended up down at Staten for the for the last portion of my high school uh, for, uh, Corvallis okay okay Corvallis boy my dad was actually uh, my dad lived in Corvallis for I don't know handful of years he was the uh, professional at Corvallis Country Club there and uh, he loved it. He loved it out there. That was before. Or was that? No, it was right after Creekside. Right after Creekside. Yeah, I personally have not spent a bunch of time down in Corvallis, but I like the area. If I will show. I'm like the first carry male to not go to Oregon State, too. Like, all of my uncles did, my grandfather did, two of his brothers did, like, yeah. We go way back with the beeves. And then, ironically, my mom was a duck. 
<laughs> she went to U of O. <laughs> kind of funny how that works. It's a mystery on how they got divorced. I don't know how the you know beavers and ducks get married. I don't I don't know how that happens. Like, <laughs> uh, went to the Globe Trotter School. Globe Trotters are awesome. They're still around. You know that, right? They still they still go on tours all over the place. They come through Portland once a year, maybe twice a year actually. The lineup's a little different than it used to be, but same idea. Their show, I'm sure, is amazing. All the stuff that people can do, all the athleticism and creativity that they can provide. We're getting close, you guys. Like, I just want to point out, I've been streaming for an hour and a half, and I'm still not even done with my first yard. I know I took a couple of breaks to talk, and I talked for 10 minutes on the, on the intro, but, like, that's crazy. There was a few soggy points too. I had to go pretty slow around a large portion of this. I was doing like, right now I'm at three. I'm not pegged. This thing goes faster, but I can't really drive at full speed because it'll bog down. Although, <laughs> I just gave it a full go there. Yeah, see? Definitely gets uh, groggy. Monkey Plum, what is up? Perfect videos of Lego Harry Potter. Could have done with Hey, nice. Glad we could help out. Hopefully uh, we can help out on future adventures too. We've covered most of the Lego universe. Got lots and lots of videos for that and other things too. In fact, I'm having a hard time right now. I, I actually got a code from the developers for uh, from Rebellion for Sniper Elite 5. So I have the game, but I haven't even claimed the code yet because I don't know what to do for it. Traditionally, either Dougie and myself or Tyler and myself would go through and, and, you know, play through and get the collectibles and all of that. However, those videos never do well. Like, I went back and I looked at them. Even the Sniper Elite 2 videos, which were like seven, eight years ago, those only had like a thousand, maybe two. Some of them had three. Like, one or two had like 4,000, which is okay, I guess. But, like, so much time and effort goes into those because we... We have to scout and figure out where everything is, and then we have to clear out the areas because that's how we always do it. And then we return to the beginning of the level with a free zone, and then we just run through and get all the collectibles and, and make a recording. And then, of course, I added anything down and add all the you know the labels and everything, the graphics, and um, render, tag, title, all that stuff. You know, and then if you got seven years and you're still only pushing like a thousand views, like. Probably not necessarily something that people from the channel want to see. So then I thought, okay, I'll just stream it. But then again, I've come back to that whole like message or that voice in my head. Like people are going to want help for these people watch. But how big is it? Really? How big of an audience do we really have for those games? If we only have three, 4,000 views, you know, I think we probably have 100,000 views. No, probably not even that. Probably 50,000 views on all of them. And we've covered two, three, four, Zombie Army and Zombie Army, Zombie Army three and Zombie Army four, and um, I mean we just don't have a lot of following for that. So, you know, I I thought that might be a good Friday game for me to fill in, right? But it's also a cooperative game, and you know, it's better played with a co-op buddy. And I don't currently really necessarily have one and i don't want to ask somebody to buy the game especially since i got it for free so i mean there's all these like little things and again it comes back to that like if i'm not going to do it right don't do it at all perfection ocd whatever no you were going to be my buddy for it dude i know you said you didn't want to buy it till it got cheap because you are in fact cheap 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 good to see you though man I haven't seen much of you lately even off streams not a lot of chatting. Oh, yeah. And if we see Mike today in the chat, which I know we haven't yet, but if we do, uh, let's make sure we ask him if he blocked Paz. Paz has been trying to contact him via Facebook and he can't find him like on his list. So I like yesterday sent him a link and like the link I sent him to his profile said it wouldn't work. And so Paz is convinced that Mike blocked him. But I know Mike hasn't intentionally blocked him. So, uh, what do you mean, Chief? I buy so many games at full price. Yeah, $20 games. 
<laughs> no, I don't know. I haven't kept up with your library, dude. I haven't been stalking you lately, bro. I'm sorry, I'll get back on that. All right, 99.7. I literally need like 0.1%. Hey, what up, Alex? Woo. Oh, jeez. All these little tiny tufts. Woo. All right, the true test. Uh, let's get funny angle. Why won't it? Oh, there we go. I was doing the wrong one. Yeah, see, look at all that blade damage grass. Damn. I wish you could do it while you were driving. That's what I don't. You ever played Lego Dimensions? Yes. We got tons of videos. In fact, here. I can help you out and send you right to it. Uh, we've got actually multiple playlists. Um, this is our Lego Dimension story. So that's going to get you through like all of the story stuff. Um, and, and then this is the mini kits. I don't think you'll want the building instructions. We did a bunch of videos for, uh, like all the people who didn't have the instructions or wanted the videos of them versus having to follow along with, you know, it's not everybody wanted to build them during the gameplay. Like I like to build mine before, but. Uh, many kids. So that one's with the basically all of the collectibles, uh, and and you do not need for uh, the the trophy list. You do not need any extra characters. You can complete the trophy list with just the starter pack, which is really cool. Uh, as Lego Dimensions like a bunch of Lego games combined together. What is it? Uh, I mean, yes and no. It's all new content. It's never been anywhere else before. So it's not like you're getting like a remaster or anything. But yeah, it is um, lots of different IP. So you got like Ghostbusters. You got Teen Titans Go. You got uh, the Flintstones and the Jetsons make some appearances with some Easter egg stuff. Um, you know, tons and tons and tons of Scooby-Doo uh it goes on and on and on and on and on. There's so many. Beetlejuice, uh, Mission Impossible. I mean, there's so many different things. It's definitely, yeah, Lego Chima. Um, there's so many things. Definitely worthwhile. Um, yeah, so trust me, I, I have them all. <laughs> so, yes, I, I'm very well aware of the cost. It, it, it wasn't... It wasn't cheap. I actually was lucky, and I got some sponsored through Warner Brothers, so I did get, like, some of the Season uh, or Wave 9 stuff. But, uh, you know, ultimately... Come on, come on. Give me there, give me there, give me there. Come on! Ultimately, yes, it was not cheap. In fact, I, I had my... In fact, I still have my receipt right here. My receipt from the initial release. This is legit LEGO Dimensions all the way down. We, we showed this in a game break a while back. Um... You know, and, and my total for just the opening night was like 200 and something dollars. I had done a bunch of pre-ordering. No, $409. $409 for the starter pack and all of the available packs at launch night. It was not a cheap game. That is faux show. Come on, man. I am so like... Just give me that final percent, man! <laughs> this is crazy. And is it 99.8 or 99.9? 99.9. Oh my god. Okay, so I'm uh, this is probably going to be the only yard I mow today. Um cuz there's really no like hidden stuff. It's all based on my blade being damaged. I should have picked up on that earlier. I I knew it said that, but I've never had this issue before. Oh my god. Come on, give me 99.8 at least. It'd be nice if there was one, like, little patch or something. Well, there's some right there. I might be able to use the string trim around the edges. 
try to knock out some of this stuff in between. I think my cart and buggy is over over there. Yeah. So there is a couple of little spots around the tree bases that I could still probably get. I'm going to get the string trimmer out. Oof. Go with that. Oh, it's, it's not... So what happened here is my blade got damaged from me tapping trees with that bar on the front. Which is weird to me that my blade got damaged under it for hitting that bar up front. Maybe it's pushing it down or doing something that's causing trouble. Um, but ultimately, there is a ton of stuff that it didn't cut. So my blades were not cutting the grass efficiently around the way. So you can see all these little tiny blades popping up here and there. But I think if I get all these little tufts around the trees... Okay, I was going to say, I got to be close to 99.8. Here's a nice chunk. I like that I can just ram into the tree and it doesn't affect me. It's not like, you're ruining the tree. Find. All right, so I'm going to get, a, like, a 1,000. Well, maybe not. Uh, maybe my time for completion. That's 66 minutes. That's crazy. See, there's stuff right here, but it's not... It's not getting it. I guess maybe it is, but it's just not thick enough to... Whoa, that was loud. Oh, come on. I'm running out of trees, guys. I'm running out of trees. Come on, come on. Ooh, here we go, here we go. Will he find the last piece of grass? Stay tuned as nobody knows. Oh my gosh. I mean, how much grass is considered 0.1% for this? Ooh. This is it, this is it, this is it. No! Corner? Complete! Let's go! We are out of here. Ah, an hour and 45 minutes later. <laughs> Time to get the fingernail clip. Yeah, no doubt. All right. We're good. Credible rank up. So we got good stuff. Oh, snap. Ben, thanks for the sub. Welcome to the channel. Hopefully you enjoy our content. Um, all right, let's go. Adverts. 250. About 250. Uh, spend all my money. That's why you don't. What? That's why you don't grass out an orchard. Oh yeah, no doubt. <laughs> yeah. uh, too much swinkling. Um, all right, let's go with something a little bit easier. That pays higher though. Actually, no. Let's go. Let's go easy peasy lemon squeezy.
Okay. Probably should have repaired some stuff, but who cares? <laughs> 28 minute cut time. All right. Let's go see if we can find some stuff. I see one thing already out there. So three more. And we need to find two more because I saw one already. Should be like right here. Yep. There it is. And last but not least. What where, where you at? Oh. Return to the trailer. Oh, it's gonna leave. Bye. Uh. Fill fuel. Uh, change cutting blades. Now, let's do it. We just did it, but let's keep it clean, huh? What's 50 bucks? All right, that's 50 bucks, I guess, huh? Uh, cut height, five and six. Uh, you can end a contract early. Yeah, nobody wants to do that, though. Ain't nobody got time for that. So once I get this outline here, I should be able to, like, haul some serious grass. <laughs> Because this one doesn't have too many weeble wobbles. There are a couple. I'm scared to look at the chat. Oh, bye, flower. Flower? More like flower. <laughs> Pretty sure that's why my wife shut the door a few minutes ago. Bad jokes. Bad jokes. Last night, Reese was uh, in a voice chat with a couple of his friends, and uh, he was editing some video game footage together, making a highlight reel or funny reel or whatever. And uh, one of his buddies had a website up and was telling excellent dad jokes. Uh, Reese was passing them on to me. Like one that stood out was, uh, why do bees have sticky hair? Anybody know? Why do bees have sticky hair? Because they use a honeycomb. But I'm bumped. Yeah, there was a bunch of stuff like that. It was it was good. I thought it was good, anyways. Might not be for everybody. <laughs> Alex is Alex is correct. Dislike. Bro, that joke's right up your alley. I don't know why. You know that's a good one. A honeydew? Yeah, that's good, too. I'm pedal to the metal here. I'm flying. This mower's got wings. Yeah, well, that was a dead joke. Exactly. Good. It's good. It's good. That's good. Speaking of B, have you guys seen the preview for Man vs. B? Oh, I'm so excited. You guys have no idea. So I think I've told you guys, like, um, you know, my, my wife and I met long, 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 long ago. We dated for a few months and then, uh, you know, remained friends, but sort of went other directions. And um, down the road, we uh, we ended up becoming roommates. Um, she had an apartment. I needed a place. It was a perfect fit. And, you know, at the time, we weren't, like, you know, intentionally together or anything. It's not like we were a couple sharing an apartment. Um, but over time, my harassment wore her thin. <laughs> and uh, on 4th of July... We both had plans to go to parties, different parties. And um, I, for whatever reason, I don't remember why, but I didn't really want to go. And she was kind of in the same boat. And so I, I like suggested, I was like, hey, why don't, this was back before like Netflix or any of that. And I was like, hey, why don't we go down to the local movie place and I'll buy a movie and we can just stay home and chill and, and not worry about driving and being out with the people and 4th of July is crazy and fireworks. and. And so we ended up going, and we came home. 
We came home with this. It's a three DVD box set of Mr. Bean. And we put on disc one and just chilled and watched. And uh, we won't go into full details, but essentially uh, <laughs> we ended up uh, st starting to become a little more clung to each other at that point. And uh, from then on out, we pretty much uh, did everything together. So like when I found out, so first of all, my wife is hugely into bees. She's been harassing me for a beehive for over a year now. And I keep telling her once we get our house, I will be way more interested in stuff like that. I know you can move a beehive and all that, but I told her just to, oh, beehive. Um, no, but <laughs> boo, I know I get it. But ultimately, uh, Rowan Atkinson, Mr. Bean, is a, you know, obviously sort of a, uh, a piece of our history. And so we've, we've always watched, like, all the Mr. Bean stuff. And um, and even him as an independent actor, uh, you know, ooh, it's a race. I hope I win. Like, I just, he's always been one of my favorite guys. So Man vs. B coming out on Netflix looks amazing. It's like Mr. Bean, but yet he talks now, which is I don't know if that's better or worse. Like, I, I do enjoy, like, the, all the facial and everything that he does. Like, he's so expressive and awesome. But uh, the Man vs. B looks really good. Yeah, Rat Race is hilarious. Clash of the Titans movie. Like, the original? Or there was one that was done not too long ago, too. Like, I don't know, maybe 10 years ago. But there's one from, like, the 60s. I've seen that one a bunch. We had that on VHS when I was young. It's like one of my mom or dad's favorite movies. I can't remember who, which one, but we definitely owned that. Practical effects on that one were awesome at the time, too, but now it's like, it's crazy. Same with a lot of the, uh, you know, uh, any of that time frame of stuff. Yeah, my uh, my buddy Jordan, super smart dude. We go see him every once in a while. He's like one of my only friends that I frequently go to visit and hang out with that much these days. Um, Jordan and I were and Jillian were talking about getting a, a beehive, and he's like, you know, I researched it a couple years back, and because he's all about saving the bees and everything too. Because if you don't know, the bees aren't in the best shape they've ever been in, due to all sorts of reasons, but. Um, so, and, and we have uh, an old neighbor of ours that lived here that Jillian grew up across the street from. They actually do beehives. And so, like, at any point, we could call Noah and be like, yo, we need some bees. And he'd be like, all right. And, you know, get us everything we need and help us move it and everything, too. But um, they're a fair amount of work. And, uh, you know, in the end, honey would probably be worth it. We don't do a lot of honey around here currently, but, um, you know, certainly be something we do. And that could go on to, like, you know, we talked about the maybe potentially having, like, a, you know, smaller sort of uh, nursery is probably not the right word, but, like, a, uh, a starter starter plant, <laughs> you know, like clones and stuff like that. Uh, honeycomb would probably sell nicely next to uh, those things at, like, a farmer's market booth or whatever. But yeah, we just did a bunch of work. I think I told you guys last weekend we borrowed a big rototiller and I rototilled this huge section of our yard, ground up all clay and dirt, grass, dog poop, everything that was involved. And um, and then we leveled it and got it all sort of flat. And um, now we're going to lay that black um, ground cover. Oh, excuse me. Um, which is basically like a netting. It goes over it to prevent weeds and growth. And um, essentially, we will uh, just leave it. I mean, that's that was the original plan. But I was like, why don't we, now that we're making this all nice and we got this big section, why don't we put some raised beds over here and put a greenhouse right here? And, and then we could start growing some stuff that we would eat, like peppers, potatoes, tomatoes. You know, that stuff's easy to grow and plentiful when you do. Um, 
And then, uh, you know, offset some of that. Because right now, cost of everything is so expensive. And then having succulents and bromelades and all sorts of other plants that, you know, maybe... I don't know if exotic is the word to describe them all. Like, succulents aren't necessarily exotic. Some of them are, I guess. But, like, that pineapple bromelade that I got the wife, like, knowing that that's going to grow and harvest the fruit and reveal three more shoots for three more plants and that next season we'll get three and three so we'll get three plants that harvest and they get three so we'll have nine i mean in a couple of years or a couple of harvests we'll have a, a, an abundance of those and that plant with a potter in it and everything was 90 bucks so it's not a cheap plant so i mean you know again obviously it would be a couple of years before that one really paid off to do much but if we got a couple of those now you know, down the road, we could be sitting pretty with those pineapples. Now, if we could just get a, a pizza plant to grow with it, we'd be set. Oh, I'm sure if Kirsten wasn't listening, she's triggered and fully attentive now. <laughs> uh, hey, peace out, Andrew. Thanks for stopping by. Much love. What happened? Clash of the Titans came out in 1981. Clash of the Titans. Maybe I'm thinking of a different movie then or something. I'm trying to think, because there's one that's super old. I can't imagine that was from 81. Maybe it was? Beans, Cali, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bro, we got an avocado tree now, too. That's another reason we want to have the... Uh, the thing I, I don't I'll have to take a picture and show you Kirsten because I, I think I showed you ours a couple like months ago it's it's a whole new animal now like it's crazy so my uh there were a few older Hercules no 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 now you got me wondering let's see here and and maybe it was a uh... so there's a 2010 and there's a 1981 I'm seeing that right here see if this is the one that I'm referring to. Oh, it totally is. Okay, so it wasn't... Six. Okay. Much newer than I imagined it being. But yeah, that's definitely the one. Definitely the one. I thought it was older. Crazy. Ursula! <laughs> There's an actress named Ursula. <laughs> Every time I see that name or hear that name, I always think of Super Troopers. And they're all... Adulting at the end on the microphone. Ursula, come in, Ursula. <laughs> we love you, Ursula. It's been a while since I've watched the first Super Troopers. We watched, uh, no, 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 no. A couple of months ago, maybe, maybe it was, maybe it wasn't you, maybe it was raised then. I, I swear I showed one of you guys our avocado tree. Because we, uh, we started and, so we got an avocado, right? Like, ah! Oh! Live avocado, chopped it up, got the seed out, and then uh, went through the process of, you know, putting the toothpicks on it and hanging it out and letting it sit up on a, on a jar for, God, it seemed like an eternity. Um, and then the stupid thing got roots, and then now it's got, like, it, it got a big shoot out the top, and then, um, and then we've, uh, we've cut the shoot to promote lower growth and so we basically topped it and it had nothing but like one shoot and then a bunch of roots and uh, I was like telling the wife like normally when you cut clones or take shoots or top things you don't take the entire foliage and everything but everywhere we looked everything we read said to do that so we cut the head off it and it was literally just like a seed in a jar with a big root and then like one stock with no leaves, no top, no tip, no nothing. And uh, about three weeks went by, and it got this little bubble on the side. And before we knew it, it had a shoot. Now it's got three, four, five leaves, and it's got another node popping up. And, like, it's coming to life again. It's crazy. And uh, it's still small. And we're still probably six or eight months from putting it into soil. Uh, but, like, the fact that we've got this far. We've tried this a few times over the years and never had any luck. And this time my wife struck gold. Avocado gold, that is. 
So we'll see. And, and I mean, basically, it's supposed to be like two or three years before you even get one piece of, you know, one avocado off of it. But if, you know, if we get this greenhouse and put it in there, it would actually have a pretty decent environment because, you know, Oregon isn't necessarily known for avocado growth. Uh, so it was that. Okay, so I thought it was you. You know, old man Brian Brain doesn't always come through, but, you know, doesn't fail me all the time either. Not all the time. <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, it's much bigger now. Like the root system, it looks all like calcified and weird. Like it almost looks like a, you know how like you go into like an old science class or whatever. You got teachers that have like pigs in jars and stuff. I don't even know if they can have that anymore. But back when I was in middle school and high school, that used to be a thing. Um, and uh, like. You see in sci-fi movies and stuff like carcasses and jar like that's what it looks like. It looks like an alien died in this jar because the the system it's all like a backbone and it's all windy and curly like a tail almost. And then it's got all these like little bumps that look like almost like little crystals that grow off of the shoot of the root, but they're just like little. They look like little calcified chunks. I, I don't know. It's just a root somehow. But the top we cut off it too. I told the wife, just throw it in here. I said, slice the bottom so it might get an opening to uh, where it feeds. And then it might grow a root out the side. And it's been three, four weeks, like I said, since we cut the top. Maybe even longer. And the, the top still doesn't have a root on it. But it is actually growing new tops and actually has new growth on it. So it's sort of a mystery too. We might end up with two avocado plants slash trees off one seed due to some luck and, and how it's going. So bummed all the bad ones, a couple months ago, knocked all baby off. Oh no, you guys had, uh, don't you have a lemon tree too or is it your neighbor? I think it's your neighbor that has the lemon tree. Yeah, I'll be showing everybody the uh, the bromelade tomorrow. It, it's It's unlike anything most of you have ever seen. Like, seriously. You have an orange tree. but So, okay. I swear somebody, we talked once about lemons, because I don't remember why we were talking lemons. Lemon pies or lemon something. Lemon custard or... I don't remember what it was. And I feel like we were talking... You, you were like, yeah, my neighbor has a lemon tree. Or something, something, I don't remember what. And they brought, they brought a bunch over to you. That's what it was. Somebody brought you a basket full of new fruit off their tree or something. I swear it was lemons. Again, old man Brian Brain doesn't always function as it should. Maybe that's what it was. I feel like somebody close by a neighbor or relative like dropped off a basket full of fresh lemons and you were like, me, 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 me. We were all like, shut up. <laughs> uh, what's the question, Alex? All of them have been retracted. Okay. Not sure how to answer. Do you also know the movie like Jaws? Uh, I, I've definitely seen Jaws. Definitely seen Jaws. Seen most of the Jaws movies. I think I've seen them all, actually, but maybe not. Uh, definitely seen The Matrix, including the new ones. And I own the Animatrix. In fact, that one's, like, right here, too, I think. I got a handful of, like, DVDs and stuff. Like, all the stuff that was too racy or risky for Reese was removed from our, like, family collection. Because we have, like, these big... I mean, I have hundreds of DVDs hundreds of DVDs and Blu-rays. Um, and so uh, we, we pulled all the, the greasy ones so that Reese couldn't, like, sneak him and watch him when, like, we went to bed and he's having sleepovers with his friends and stuff because they're all downstairs. And, he, you know, if we're up here and he's down there with access to all that stuff. So, you know, like, I have a lot of, like, you know, the Jackass movies and the CKY2Ks and the Steve-O stuff and, the, you know, uh, all of the Haggard the movie um, you know, uh, uh, there's a bunch of stuff like that up here. All oh, my Titus comedies, uh, yeah, Cannibal the Musical, South Park the Movie, like that kind of stuff. Like, you know, real cuss heavy, real, you know, adult like stuff. He's to a point now where it's not really up here for that anymore. It's, it's just how it was separated long ago, and I just haven't changed it. At some point, they'll all have a, a different office set up, and I, I will definitely showcase and display things differently and 
likely will move the DVDs and stuff out of there. Hey! Trying to leave a mohawk? <laughs> uh, what's up, Jonathan Blaze? Missed your comment as it's been retracted. Hey, Hayes is out there too, ready for some free bro. Yeah, well, don't hold your breath. <laughs> don't hold your breath. So I'm going to tell you like I've told everybody else. I am going to uh, just let you guys know that as of right now, the free roam videos are days or weeks away from being produced. Um, if they get produced in the way we'd like them to. Uh, due to a various factors, um, you know, we're sort of shifting gears on how that's going to happen. And we're not 100% sure that we're even going to do guide videos at this point. Uh, starting tomorrow, I have a plan that I'm going to try to implement, and we're going to see how it goes. Um, if it works out like I hope, there will likely be some videos in the next couple of days slash weeks. Um, but free roam is extremely easy. Everybody that I keep talking to that's completed it is like, dude, so easy. All the Everything is trackable. For a little bit of studage, you can get a, a, a hint or a rumor that'll teach you or tip you off where it's but and then you can track that mission at least i'm being told that so um you know in essence what i'm getting at is the time it's going to take me to make these videos you could probably beat the game you could probably beat your own for your own and probably start a new game and beat that one too before i get done with those videos it's likely going to be a while before those are done assuming they do get done um but just know that you know you can do it. Like, I, I don't know that there's going to be any difficulties. Everybody that's done it so far has told me it's extremely easy. It's just really long. So that's kind of part of the factor of why it's going to take so long for me to get those videos out. Free play and story, relatively short, 20, 30 minutes a piece. Some of those free roam videos might end up being three, four hours long. That's a lot of commentary. That's going to take seven to eight hours for my computer to process those videos. Now, I don't know that for sure, because but some of those planets have 40, 50 collectibles. And I'm not saying planet, like, broken up by space and stuff. Like, and we might even have to separate some of them where, like, you know, a planet has four or five landing locations. And, like, each landing location might get its own video versus all in one. Right? But, uh, I mean, ultimately, I, I don't know. And it's, it's a really big mess trying to document them all the way we would normally document them. And that's like my biggest hurdle. If I could go in and do like, you know, if there was 50 missions or 50 t tasks and I could do all 50 without having to jump to planet and make sure that I've done all these other quests first to unlock these ones or whatever. Like there's just so much bouncing back and forth that sort of takes away from the, you know, like if I put Takodana down and I go to Takodana and then I end up having to go to Hoth and all these other places to do quests that are prerequisites for then I'm doing stuff that's not even relevant to the area. And it would be potentially missed moving forward if people didn't follow along. So it's just tough. I'm just trying to figure out what the best way is, if it's even possible. I'm sure it is. And like I keep telling my wife and everybody else, once I figure out the order and I start get going, it'll be like dominoes. Once the first domino falls, they'll all come tumbling down behind it. It'll just be a matter of time. But time is definitely a factor. And knowing that it's going to take me a long time, I mean, I'm not going to be able to get one video a day done. Like, that's just not possible with the amount of time and size these levels are. And then commentary and editing and labeling. It's just not realistic. Like one a week? That might be more realistic, especially with the stream schedule and everything how it is. I might be able to pump out more, though. There's some that are smaller than others, though, too. Some of them are definitely doable right some of them have 10 15 20 collectibles most of them have a lot more though so uh you know i'm still stressing out about how that's going to end whether we will do guide videos whether i will stream it whether i will just bury it and forget about it and never look back no nah, i won't do that i might though a couple nights ago i was feeling that way for show yeah, see, like, LEGO Movie 2, definitely different in the sense that, like, there's no tracking system for the collectibles or anything, too. So, like, like some of these games, there's no question. Like, they needed guides. 
The free play probably didn't need, air quotes included, need guides. Because again, tracking system with some studage and some rumors, you can definitely figure out where these things are. The collectible detector was pretty accurate too in my experience with this game where like in Lego Pirates, it could take you on a goose chase or, you know, there's a few games that the collectible detector is just not credible at all. Not even the slightest. Alex is out of here, huh? Bye, Alex. Thanks for hanging, man. But yeah, goal is game break tomorrow at 10 a.m. at around 11, 11.30. Whenever I wrap it up, uh, I'm going to jump into uh, what appears to be Kashyyyk. And I'm going to try to get Kashyyyk done 100%. And then I got another level that I'll do that I'll try to get that one done. And then I'll try to get Naboo done. And if I can get like three or four of them done... 100% I'll probably start uploading them and then continue with my path and then there might be a couple of levels where we have to travel from one planet to another using rumors completing prerequisite stuff because um, it's probably not going to be perfect in a perfect world I would be able to uh, you know select Hoth and be able to do everything on Hoth without having to go anywhere or leave anything do do any other stuff but Sadly, they have these prerequisites. But again, if I could find, if anybody knows, like that would be that would be a game changer. If somebody actually found a, an accurate, legit list for planet unlocks, and I'm being serious, I mentioned this earlier. If somebody knows that, I would I would have no problems. Like if I knew Exegol was the first one I should do, and then Naboo, and then and, and, and you know what I mean. Like this is where it all starts because there is a path somewhere that likely looks like that. But there's also a possibility that they all kind of trickle and intertwine into each other, which then makes it an absolute nightmare for the creators. Again, playing it, you guys have no problem. There's no reason. Like, But when I'm documenting and trying to lead somebody to something and it's back and forth or wrong or missing something, my credibility becomes lesser, right? My street cred's already not that great. I can't afford to lose much more. Hey, guys. Uh... Here. Did you watch Power Ranger movie when I was younger? Sadly, Fun House. What up, by the way? Um, I was already into my late teens or maybe even 20s when Power Rangers was really taken off. I, I'm probably wrong on that, too. Like, the cartoons were probably around when I was earlier, like 12, 13, 14. But I feel like my brothers were four, five, six years old, which would have put me in my late teens, early 20s um when they were binging out on even pokemon and all that stuff like i i'm just sort of right before a lot of those things you know like he-man she-ra mask transformers gi joe those were like the cartoons that were on uh, either seasonally or all the time you know and then of course we had the regular stuff too like looney tunes and that stuff too but um Guys, uh, we're a little beyond the halfway mark of today's expectancy of the stream, and I've got two lawns done! Um, I'm going to go ahead and take a quick be right back. I'm going to grab a drink, drain the tank, check on the fan, make sure everything's good, and I'll be right back in about three minutes or so. So go grab a drink or whatever you need to do, and I'll be right back!
Is this thing on? Hello? Is this thing on? <laughs> Ooh, I forgot to crack my can. I'm going to do that right now. Three, two, one. Sorry if that was loud. I try to keep it away from the old microphone and also give you the warnings. All right. Um, second half of Mo Monday. Let's go ahead and uh, get back to base. Get our paydays. Put out any adverts that we need to. So we didn't get paid very good for that one, but that's okay, though. We got to have some little guys. Our credible rank is now unlocked, which trophy? No. Thought we were going to get paid. All right, so let's go maintenance. Uh, full repair. Full repair. Okay, we're good there. All right, so I don't want to leave yet. I don't want to hire anybody else. I need, I need like a good job, and then I need a. Uh, let's see, four hundred five. Okay, twelve fifty. Okay, there we go. Let's do this guy right here. Uh, after this, I might be able to uh, get myself another mower. Although I, I should probably read the guide. There is a guide here that I have that sort of explains the best process, but I don't know says in career mode you'll be completing contracts each day to earn money as well as rep points this is where you'll be spending the majority of your time since it has the most time consuming trophies in the game mostly talking about so it's got long haul fourth of july there's a bunch of stuff that's like relevant to like times and how like like i'm literally in march right now but i'm supposed to mow what, what, what does it say i have to like mow a, a lawn with an american brand mower or something what is it use an american made mower to complete a contract on the fourth of july um, July 4th will land on a Monday this year, giving you the first chance to get this trophy. Make, to make sure you don't miss it, it's highly recommended to sell all your mowers except for the American-made ones to make sure you don't mess it up. You also need to make sure that you either do a general cut or striping contract since you don't need a mower for the litter contract? I don't know what the litter contract is. Oh, litter. Yeah, gotcha. Yes, because you run around picking up the litter. That's right. Um... The American-made mower is available in the game, so it tells us which ones. And right now, it is not. I'm, I'm rocking a Knight, which is not an American-made mower. Uh, but so I'll have to keep an eye on that. It's only it's only March, but uh, there's definitely a lot of those. But I, I'm not sure what the best way to handle my money is. Much like I was saying earlier with the simulator games with like the zoo tycoons and roller coaster tycoons and things like that, um, I will often like spend my money in what I think is the right. Like, like in this case, I probably need to have a place to park a mower before I get another, another mower. Um, Drex is barking like crazy downstairs. Um, and then I should probably have a place to park a mower and another mower to park there before I hire another employee, right? I mean, I could always just have the employee doing the contracts. I, I, I guess that's a quick way to do it where I'm not involved. It's just literally like... You do this, you do that, you do that, and then I just go, and because I'm not physically doing it, the day will process, the job will process, and then it'll be over. Uh, I think we did that a while back. Let's see here, Monk on Drugs. Uh, yes, it, it's March. It, it, I know you're laughing at me because you probably think I was talking about in real life it's March, but in the game, in the top right corner, March 2021. So in the game, it is March. <laughs> hey, hey, we're the monkey. What up there, monkey? So, uh, yeah, duh, in game. I'm not supposed to mow on the actual 4th of July for the, <laughs> uh, otherwise I'd be coming up soon. I'd have one day a year to get that trophy, which would be annoying as can be, right? Um, all right, so let's go pick a job here. Good. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get it. This is a big one. In fact, this one might take. The whole time. All right, so five minutes for check. Five to six. Okay. Uh, let's go find our stuffs. I see one, like, looks like a bottle of milk and something else way back in the corner there. So there's two over. Is that one right there? No. We hear a horse. A horse of a horse of course. course. There we go right. Oh. Right here, too, isn't there? Guess not. 
Okay, so there's one way over there. Yeah, that draw distance really helps you find the stuff. Off, because it doesn't draw all of the map, it only draws... Oh, look at that. So I need one more. Not seeing it out there. It's probably in the corner I'm in, then. I was not seeing it. Wish we could jump. I'd, I'd pretend to be a horsey and jump over those hurdles. <laughs> oh, see? My horse sounds were so good that they uh, triggered the horses in game. And now I got my own real life horse downstairs barking. Well, which way does it go? I have to start running a grid line here to make sure I'm covering all the ground. Six of seven. Is there another? It's only this side, right? Like, I'm not mowing over. I'm not mowing over here, right? So remember that one area there was, like, that secret back spot. Doesn't look like that's the case here, though. And it's not showing. All right, so let's run a grid here. He apparently needs you not to do Yeah, that's that's dumb. People are hating that, and the devs will likely change that. Oh, look at that. There it is. Yeah, I, I don't remember. It's uh, it's called, like, Now Go Play Outside Ultra Edition or something. Reese and I were talking. I saw that. There was a big article on it. I don't remember what game it is, but I did see that. That's five to six, right? Five to six. Okay. All right, on the mow again. Just can't wait to get on and mow again. <laughs> All right, so that corner's a little cheeky. I'll try not to ruin my unit here. And I'll use the, the string trimmer if need be. Yeah, any trophies that are tied to like a time frame or even a leaderboard, right? I know that like Watch Dogs had some trophy in the first one that was like, you had to like take down an online player or something, right? Which seems like an easy task. You just go and jump it. Unless you're like fixing it so that like your player you're taking down is like your friend and he just doesn't fight back. If you don't play that game in the first week or three, everybody gets their online player leveled up and your level will need to be luckily higher than theirs or you probably won't be able to take them down. They'll have tools and gadgets and, and uh, there's just things like that leaderboard stuff like in the first week or two, probably pretty easy to get in that top 100 or 100,000 or whatever. You give it a few months or a few years, like you, you visit a game five years after it's been out and 10 million people have played it. Yeah, you're probably not getting that leaderboard trophy. And that stuff's annoying. Like, I hate that. Um, my guess is either A, that'll be one of the cultiest, most hated trophies of all time by having that 10 year deal or, you know, and, and ultimately it's one of those things where like, you know, you beat the whole game except for that last trophy and then you just put it down and you don't play it. And then 10 years later, you can come back and get it. Like, that's silly. That's silly. But I mean, hey, I would probably fire up the PS3 right now if 10 years ago. I had been in a situation like that. But it, but that's going to require people to keep whatever system they have in the game, right? Like, you're not trading that game in a GameStop. At least I wouldn't think. Yeah, there's probably ways. Like, on PC, you can change the time of the, you know. And, and there's, there's a way on the Xbox, too, that you can fool the time, too. PlayStation's too smart, though. So I don't know. I, I mean, I, I, I wouldn't bet that there I would bet that there's probably a way to to fool it somehow but the PlayStation's smart like you can't like Tyler was able to access Lego Star Wars before he should have been 
due to, or was it Grace? Some, one of them did. I don't remember which one it was. One of them got it early because they switched their time frame, and they were able to play it. And, and but um, you could not do it on the PS4 or PS5. At least that's what I read. I, I, multiple outlets covered that, and they said you couldn't. So I assume they is not lying. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, like, there's definitely things on the PC and stuff that have been fooled before with that kind of stuff, which is, I'm sure, where the idea came from. Um, but, yeah, some systems have, like, fail-safes that prevent you from being able to, 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 like, take advantage of that. Well, we've almost got two laps around this bad boy. I'm going to guess that there's probably going to be about 15 laps. I mean, I haven't really done math or percentages up there. By the time I get done, I'll probably be close to 8%. Seven and some change anyways. That's some tall grass, man. Tall grass. Seven and a half. All right. Seven and a half. It's weird how grass, tall grass, can damage a blade. Right. Going slow. Yeah, all this stuff's really tall and gross. gross. I uh, I'm already ahead of how, where I was last time though on the Xbox because I didn't buy the bagged mower, and the bagged mower was you know. Like, at some point soon, I'll have to do striping and stuff, too, right? Um, but as it sits right now, we got the easy-peasy contracts. And I'll likely do most of the striped contracts via employees. Just because it's just easier. Like, the more work the employees do, I think, the better. But I do feel like there are trophies attached to, like, how many miles you've driven or how many, you know whatever. I, there probably is a trophy for how many times you've emptied the bag, right? Like, I probably will need to buy a bag mower and do that if I am really, truly going to try to platinum this game, which has not been decided. I mean, it just depends on how the turnouts are. Like, if y'all want to keep me, see me keep mowing, it saves me from having to try and find a new game for Mondays, as I already told you. It's not as easy as it once was finding games. Um, as it sits, I have a plan for this Friday, but I don't think y'all are going to be happy about it. It's Ghostwire Tokyo, because I can't find anything newer. And I really enjoyed that game. So, uh, Polo Trousers, what up? Thanks for the sub. Welcome to the channel. Hopefully you enjoy our content. Yeah, there's that new Kayo... It's not the dragon. It Basically, it looked like a... It looked like a Spyro the Dragon copy game called, like, Kayo the Kangaroo or something. Which, honestly, I had never heard of, but I read somewhere that it's like a reboot or a remaster. Like, that game used to exist somewhere. I didn't know that. What up, Cyber? What up, Enrique? So, I, I thought about, but I thought, you know, that looks like a Spyro-type game. I don't know how much fun I would have. Or if anybody even has heard of it. Or, But again, if it's a reboot or a remaster, it's probably going to have that nostalgic value to an extent or people will check it out because they played the older ones but again I don't know much about it it looked like it was like a 15 or 20 dollar game too I can't remember so I'm not expecting much out of it you know I thought about the the Arkham games but 
I've got such mixed reviews on those. Like, they're super hard and and um, like tedious for collectibles and a hundred percent. But you know, if I play it Robert status style, you know, go just for the story. Uh, I've heard it's pretty good. Yeah, and like Detroit Become Human and stuff. Like again, same with that. Like I've heard mixed things about it. And I have plenty of games that I own that I've never played. Not that you guys would want to see like Killzone, but I got Killzone Shadowfall, I think. Yeah, Shadowfall had never been opened. Um, I, I've got a few other games never been opened. Um, I've got that Rush of Blood on VR for the PlayStation VR. I've never opened it, but I, I don't do well with VR, so I probably never will. Uh, is there anything else there that's not open yet? The Guardians of the Galaxy game was really fun. I, I'm, I enjoyed that. I, I wish there was more stuff sort of like that. Um, that game just played so well. I, 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 I just really enjoyed it. Life is strange, huh? I, I, I do think thanks to PS Plus. I think I own at least one of them. There's a few of them, I think. Um, I don't really know much about it. I feel like it's an anime game, isn't it? Or kind of anime-ish? Or maybe it's just the way the style is that I felt that was the case. But I know there's like a Life is Strange and Life is Strange 2, but I don't know much about them. And, I, and honestly, I, I could own them both via PS Plus. Depending on if they've been giveys, giveaways. Al Blades Fids popped up. Real life mowing with monster stand up mower that plows through everything sped up. <laughs> That's funny. At some point, I might get a stand-up mower in this game. Come on. I, I, you can't expect me to literally mow one blade at a time game. Like, it's kind of frustrating that they they do that. I mean, I, I get it. Real life, there's terrain that's bumpy. But, I mean, come on. There's no visual aid that I can see for the game that shows me that it's going to be rough terrain. And I'm already going half the speed of the device because, like, I can go 4.4. I'm already doing, like, 2 or 3 miles, you know. Mostly, like, 2.8, 3. It's crazy how slow they want me to mow. We're loading your engine. Well, cool it off. Cool it off. Blow on it. Put some ice. Give it some lemonade or something. It's like player's choice game. Play as the main character, Max. If you choose the first game. Huh. Yeah, I don't know much about it, as I have proved. <laughs> I don't know why, but I feel like I, I do own that, like... Whoops. Yeah, I did pick up this game, too. Neon Drive. Deadcraft. I didn't... Oh, it's the demo. I was like, I didn't buy that. What? Uh, Team Sonic Racing. B Fence, B Master. Uh, so this Planet Coaster, that's PS Plus. Like I said, I'm pretty sure. I wish you could. S Can you search? So you can't search, which is a bummer. I, I, I wish I could search like L, right? Like alphabetical. Which I might be able to make them alphabetical, actually. Source, hidden items, filter. Yeah, so that's...
Uh, yeah, there's so many games in here too that I've never played. Some of them are from, you know, like PS Plus. Um, some of them are games that I, you know, like I bought at launch and then it was broken and I never came back to it. This game was a dollar. Never played that. This was plus, 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 uh, Pro Force plus. There's Spyro, which I we did the videos for one. Yeah, plus I never played Days Gone. I I saw a, what 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 I'm guessing is a f fake leaked list for the state of play, and it showed Days Gone two announcement. But they've said over and over, like Ben Studios and Sony have said that they don't ever expect there to be a second one uh, because it didn't sell as well as they wanted it to or whatever. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I got, let's see. I got Paranormal Activity. I bought that for the HDGTV way back when. Never played it. Uh, I swear, maybe I passed it or not. Ghostbusters video game remastered, super fun game cooperatively, but the remastered version was not cooperative, which is stupid. I bought it thinking it was, and then found out later it wasn't. Uh, wait, did I just see what I think I just saw? Last of Us Part Two, Erica. For some reason, I thought I just saw Life is Strange in my peripheral, but I have so many games like Doom Eternal. Never played it. Uh, Shadow Colossus. Here's Jurassic World Evolution. So maybe I don't have two, but I definitely have the first one. Uh, Bioshocks. Never played those. You know, I thought about giving Need for Speed Heat another go on the Xbox. But again, more fun with friends. And it might be fun to re revisit this again, too, on the Xbox. Because I'm sure that's on the Xbox, too. Um, yeah, I, I swear I had Life is Strange, at least one of them, but uh, I'm getting pretty deep into this here, and I don't, I'm not seeing it. Uh, opinion on... I, I like The Last of Us Part Two. I thought it was good. I mean, they could always do things differently or whatever, but I, I enjoyed the story that they took us on. Uh, I see I'm getting way back down here now, but I still feel like... This possibility it could be way down there. Mad Max, never played that. Must have been a plus game. I feel like... Uh... Oh, there's Life is Strange. So I do own one of them anyways. Yeah, see, just based on the, the thumbnails that I've seen and stuff, I just always felt like it was kind of like a weird anime game so it's like an adventure type game sort of like uh i mean not necessarily compared to like the last of us but it looks like it's more of like point and click almost yeah so uh i mean i guess i at least have one so there's goat simulator so i do have that uh star wall i'm not sure how i ended up with that but uh this was another game that i really wanted to check out and never played um, I, I bought it, or maybe it was PS Plus. It looks like it was Plus. Um, never played it. I, I think I actually own it, too. I think I bought it, and then I was pissed it came out on Plus later. Uh, more and more stuff. See, uh, so many games I've never played. Secret Ponchos, never played that. Spelunky, never played that. I did play Pixel Junk Shooter. Mix the Cat, never. Ollie, Ollie 2, never played that. Uh, Outlast, never played either of those. Uh... Go, grow home never played that i mean look at all these games I, I, so many of them most of them are, are ps plus versus me buying them and uh, but like until dawn that that is one that i actually might evolve was a really fun game uh this game you guys never saw i bet speakeasy this game was like um it's like a reaction based game and you have to play couch co-op and like you get like one attack and one block it's really crazy uh I, i've totally side showed bob to myself here though let's go ahead and finish this how many games do you get a month on ps5 plus uh we only get one ps5 game a month but you definitely get other games too like you used to get like a ps3 a ps4 or a vita game and a ps4 game and, and then now they're doing ps4 and a couple ps4s usually and a ps5 sometimes they have a vr i think that's usually one of their focal points too is to give you a vr give you a ps4 and a ps5 game every month but it, it does fluctuate a little bit. It's not always that way. Or maybe it is, but it doesn't seem like it. 
Uh, Slime Ranch is a pretty fun low key game. Is that one? Did, did I, I feel like I bought that or got that at one point on Plus? I probably displayed it on my screen a second ago, maybe. I, I don't know for sure that I have. I think I do, though. All right, we're almost a quarter of the way done with this bad boy. I haven't been counting my laughs, but this has got to be at least four, huh? How uh, slow can you move? This is my least favorite part of the square here, is this slow going guy over on the right. I wish you could, that one thing that I would think would improve this game too, is if you could literally like set, set your throttle and it would just maintain the speed. So like in my case, I want to go slow, right? But if I could lock it in at 1.8 or 1.9 and just like set it and forget it, like cruise control, that would be cool. I know that there's going to be times where I'm going faster and I need to slow down or throttle is important to be aware of. But like ultimately you could set it at a low pace and just keep it there. But I don't think there's any way to do that. Not a huge deal, but I got to be honest, my trigger finger getting a little, uh, little worn out. Like, I'm going slow enough, it literally just said, reminder, if you want to get off the vehicle, press and hold circle. That's how slow I'm going. <laughs> I can literally do cartwheels across this backyard faster than I'm actually mowing. Yeah, it is weird to me that uh, we're in like week four, probably maybe even five of the new Apex season, and I have not even dropped once. You know, the game's been out for, what, three years now? And I've actively played in every season. Now, there's been a couple of seasons that I played more or less than others, and there were some that I got a late start to or maybe got a heavy, heavy start and then didn't really play much at the end. Um... But every season I've logged a lot of hours and it usually was attached to a stream um, right now just unfortunately there's just I, I like having a team of three um, and, and I like having a team that I'm comfortable with so I don't like dropping with randos um, and right now our, our availability is pretty limited I, I, I don't have a team of three I, I'm sure I could probably twist some arms and convince Kirsten to stream it with me um, but then we're still only at two. I don't hate duos, but like duos is okay for like half hour or hour or something. Just the dynamic of the game plays so different with duos versus trios. And honestly, I think it's harder to get a win in duos than it is trios. I, I don't know why I feel that way, but I do. Um, seems like it'd be easier because you just got to knock less people down or whatever, but... You can tell here, yeah, I was going to say, there's some gross, groggy ground right here because I got some grass sticking up. But, um, you know, Gray working different shifts and not being available. I mean, notice you haven't seen much or any of him today. Um, I've talked to him a little bit, but I know he's working. Uh, and, uh, you know, Nam's 
I'm surprised we saw Nam today. I don't, I don't think he's still out there now. He's been working on site versus at home. So, um, oh, actually, well, today's a holiday, I guess. He's probably not working today. Um, but yeah, for the most part, he's definitely been working, not available. And like I mentioned earlier, Tyler's got some uh, uptick in duties at work due to lack of employees, uh, which is good for him, right? I mean, it's totally good. Reese is still in school. I talked to him about once he was out of school, if he'd be interested in and, and potentially being a rotation guy for those days. So, you know, if we needed him, he could be available. If not, we didn't, you know. And he said he'd think about it. He he, he likes Apex. He hasn't played any this season either. <clears throat> he, uh, he's he been playing Warzone. One of his uh, old buddies popped up out of nowhere and kind of got him playing Warzone again. And now he's been playing and making highlight clips and highlight videos, and he's got a bunch of stuff going. So... I don't know how interested he will be in that too, but you know, and like uh, Mega Beard is somebody that was uh, actually going to sort of hop into the rotation of Apex and might at some point, but he is currently on a vacation with his family, and he'll be back in probably ten days or so. So you know, in a couple of weeks, he may fill in some spots. You might get to see the old Mister Beard, but. Um, he, uh, in fact, I need to give him a bad time right now. If you guys see him or if he pops up, remind him he's nega beard right now. He ain't got no beard. He ain't got no beard at all. Let's see here. Something popping in here. Oh, gray. <laughs> gray, that was terrible. That was terrible. There he is. What up, gray? That was terrible, bro. That reminds me. So I got to be honest, that picture you sent me, I know it wasn't intended to be this, but it sort of reminds me of like Miss Piggy was in a car accident or something, right? Like that's kind of what that looked like. Um, have you guys seen? I, I don't know the whole story, but apparently the copyright or ownership of Winnie the Pooh has expired. And somebody's picked up the not the rights but the availability to make a movie on Winnie the Pooh so they're making a live action Winnie the Pooh movie but it's not it's it's a horror movie and Winnie the Pooh is like very disturbing looking and him and Piglet go on like a murder spree it's crazy and like I, I listen poor Eeyore there's been some information disclosed about Eeyore. He don't make Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey Part 2. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> I'm not going to go into details of what I have read or heard, but... Listen. Not good. Not good. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I saw it the other day and I sent the link to Tyler even. And he was like, oh my god, what is that? That thumbnail, jeez, like the way they've got Winnie the Pooh looking, mm. Mm, mm, mm. not good, not a fan. Uh, funny enough, though, uh, in my early days of Twitter, uh, I, you know, I followed certain people that looked to be impactful or on the rise, you know, and and tried to communicate and learn from their patterns and and advice that they would tweet and say and stuff. And there's a, there's a gal who was a sort of a, a streamer, but she was known for being a cosplayer. And, um, you know, like there was a whole bunch of them back then that we like, you know, we went to PAX and like Jessica Nijri and like there's a there's a handful of them. Right. That that we were following. Uh, and, and, I, and I almost want to say that we may have met Amber at. Um, at PAX, that may have been how we initially met. So Mark, Mark was a little bit more well versed in in some of those cosplayers at the time. I, I didn't know any of them, um, and so I, I think if if we did meet her, it would have been because of Mark. But uh, anyways, this gal that I've met and been following on Twitter forever, um, she's in the movie. I didn't know this guy. I don't even think I told Gray this. Um, I'll have to I'll have to send you the tweet uh, uh, or uh, link to her Twitter account, but yeah, she's she's uh, in the movie, and, and I mean, 
And I told my wife, I was like, yeah, so I, I may know somebody or kind of have an indirect connection with somebody, but I, I still don't want to watch it. I still don't want to watch it. <laughs> like, hopefully it does well and she gets, like, her start in movies or whatever. She does voice acting and stuff a little bit, too, I think. And, and uh, listen, she she's not new to the scene. She's been around for a minute. I, I'm just not exactly sure what her real title is because, like I said, I, I'm not very well versed or knowledgeable when it comes to cosplay and, and voiceover or voice actors and stuff like I know some like I, I was very well aware of like you know people in movies and stuff like I, I know I notice voices I'm aware of that but I don't always know names and faces All right, so I'm only 40 per Whoa! I'm only 40% done. Get out of here. Let's see if we can make this corner a little bit easier on future passes. I don't know if that'll help or not. So it looks like I'm going to have to fill up before I finish. Which is not great. Hey, hey what up, Brad? We were talking about you earlier, bro. We wondered if your ears would burn and if you would show up. Bad at corners. <laughs> it's a box to do to do to do. <laughs> Gray was at work earlier and he sent me a video and I was sure there was going to be some shenanigans in the audio but then my computer wouldn't even play the audio so I'm like did you even have it was there any audio in this video it's like yeah there's audio and then I played it and I was so disappointed because there was no like no nothing like, boo hoping for like a something funny a big fart or something uh, I, I I didn't buy it I, ha I have it though gray I do. I, I have access to it via R Rebellion gave me a code, and I'm hoping I get codes for the query because I've got I've got a request in, and uh, same same connect as the uh, code that I got for uh, Sniper Elite Five, but uh, I don't know if I'll get one or more. Knowing that the multiplayer was delayed, I'm not sure that I'll get multi you know multi codes right off the bat. Oh, you bought it. Why did you buy it? Yeah, I, I don't I don't know that I'll be playing it, Gray. I have it. I haven't claimed the code yet. I talked about that earlier. Um, if, if I do get it and play it, it'll likely be to document and get the uh, the collectibles like we used usually do, you know, but that would require, you know, some help from, you know, Tyler or a guide writer, Dougie, somebody. Doug would probably take on the project if Tyler's not interested. I know that Tyler right now is, like, being worked a little extra at work. Not, like, slave labor or anything, but just extra work. Um, and uh, I know that his house is being remodeled, too. It's almost done. He was saying the other day, it's getting pretty close. Most of his stuff is is dealt with. Um, but, uh, yeah, whether or not he's got time to write a guide. You know, traditionally how we do it. Hey, Ryan, thanks for the sub. Welcome to the channel. Hopefully you enjoy our content. Normally how we do it, you know, he, he plays through and finds all the collectibles and then just walks me through it, basically. <laughs> That's the easiest way to say it. He's my uh, he's my guide. So he, he, he usually puts together a list of how he can track and do the collectibles and then uh, gets most of them on his own. Right? He'll play through before me and then I'll catch up to him and then piggyback on to, you know, he'll, he'll play in my save so we'll go through and he'll show me where they all are because he will have just done that. So basically he scouts 
prior to playing with me and then his, his memory is impeccable I've, I've talked about that before like I know I'm old you know there, there may or may not have been some brain cells killed in, in, in my years of uh, you know teenage early 20s and stuff um, so yeah I don't remember everything that I see or do and, and I have a pretty high attention deficit uh, threshold or I guess dysfunction is probably a better word for it but yeah, so uh, I don't know. I definitely like those games, and they're definitely better played with a friend. But I just don't know sandwiches. <laughs> uh, what was it the other day? We had we had there was another something else came up the other day. It wasn't sandwiches. It was something else. What was it? I don't remember. No, I don't think the sandwiches were a problem, bro. Those were all right. Those were healthy and mostly organic. Uh, it was m more of other stuffs. Yeah, I, I had a very... Uh, I'm a very different person than I was in my teens and 20s. I'm, I'm not even a, a, a shell of who I once was. I had a very different mentality, a very different personality uh, and I'm sure most of you would probably not even be here <laughs> if I was even remotely how I used to be um, you know I, when I haven't seen somebody that's like from my you know those years right like and I haven't seen them since the, they're, they're like dude like who are you you're not even the same person I'm like well that's a good thing that's a good thing I was not a good teenager I was very bad I was very dysfunctional I was very much attention seeking my parents had gotten divorced and I was just troublemaker very much so yeah we, we all maybe have our moments gray but I was like a professional troublemaker like I I yeah you've already mentioned I've uh, definitely uh, I don't know if everyone in the chat can say they've been arrested I don't know if everyone in the chat can say they have a criminal record as a juvenile. I'm <laughs> not everyone can say, uh, you know, there's a lot of things I'm not proud of. Let's just say that, right? Um, I, I did a fair amount of, uh, you know, experimenting and in, in, in all sorts of the definition, right? Like lots of experimenting. Uh, a professional me, 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 me. Yes. Beaker. That's your new nickname. Should be weaker, but he was a bad boy. Yes. Spankings aplenty. The things I did, you probably saw on the news. <laughs> Ever seen Fight Club? No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I wasn't that bad. Mmm, sandwiches. I was poor. <laughs> hey, Justin, just out of curiosity, random question number one. Have you ever seen How I Met Your Mother? Just curious. Hey, CFG Turbo! I just abused my brain cells smoking a blood of the medical card that... Yeah, hey, yeah. I, you know... In regards to that, uh, you know, obviously there's a stigma uh, regarding, you know, green cards, like those kind of green cards and, um, you know, brain cells and stuff. I, I don't know. I'm sure there's some, some stuff attached to it. I feel like that was more lingering effects from the old um, the scare tactics of like the 50s and the 60s, like reefer madness and such. Um, you know, I feel like I feel like there's a lot of other things like you know super glue and paint and other things that are inhaled whether they're meant to be for those purposes or accidentally 
that are way more brain killing than 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 you know than cannabis is. But I mean, I'm not a doctor though, so I don't really know. That's just kind of my assumption. Like I feel like turpentine and like paints and stuff. Like I feel like those are way worse. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like glade sprays. Like I mean, listen, everybody had their own thing, right? So. Um, yeah, I, I don't frown upon that one as much as like, you know, there's a lot of other things like Timothy Leary and, and Jimi Hendrix probably had some consumables that were a little bit more brain cell killing than than others, you know? Whoa! I've seen a few scenes of pets. Uh-oh, Justin, we might have to postpone our hangout until you've seen the entire show, bro. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I I know that we're not postponing anything unintentionally, but no, it's definitely it's definitely a really good show. I was just kind of feeling out something there. If you watch the show, you might figure it out on your own. Scotch bread. Yeah, like I I don't like you know I'm I'm not a. Uh, I'm not really a hater on many things, but I definitely have like uh, things that I frown upon. Like, like for example, I have a teenager, right? Like, uh, there are certain things that scare the crap out of me that I'm worried that my son will, you know, find himself involved with. Now he's a good kid, and I don't really worry about him per se, but just like the possibilities of those things, right? Like, I mean. Like, he makes jokes all the time about drugs. Yeah, I'm like, what are you doing? You know, I come in and try to scare him. I'll be like, what are you doing? He'd be like, oh, put the heroin away. You know, I'm like, really, there's no heroin and no thought or even consideration of it. But, you know, like, there are some scary things out there that, that you know, as a parent, like, you definitely don't want, you know, at, at some point, I know he's going to drink alcohol. I would imagine that it real soon, if not already, he'll probably take his full first pull off a joint or whatever, right? I don't even know if joints are cool anymore, but... Uh, whatever it is, right? Um, and, and and so, I mean, but there's definitely things on the list that are way scarier than others, right? Um, you know, a lot of the music that he listens to, the, they're, they're people that drink the lean, right? Um, and that, that uh, I'd be lying if I didn't say there was a little worry of, of about, you know, stuff like that, right? Like, that stuff's, I don't know. I don't know. Cheech and Chong are still here, right? Not, not, not a lot of the consumers of other things are, right? <laughs> that's, that's how I look at it. And, and that could all be bad luck on certain parts or could be directly connected, <laughs> you know? So, uh, but certain things I don't mind or frown upon or whatever, but I've also been there, done that in some of those cases too. But just to clarify stuff, I'm terrified of needles and that applies in all things, so... Um, yeah, the show is great, yes. You could binge the crap out of it, too. There's, like, 13 seasons, I, I think, if I remember right. And each season has, like, 20-plus episodes. It'll take you a while to get through it, but it's it's worth it. It's a good show. Like, it's genuinely entertaining. You know, Neil Patrick Harris is in it, which he's always... And just the overall cast is great. I, I think that I haven't watched the new one, How I Met Your Father, mainly because the cast is different and, and like I didn't know the How I Met Your Mother cast before I was watching that other than Neil Patrick Harris I, I don't think I knew any of the other people oh I guess that's not true Jason Siegel's in it and, and Lily's in it yeah yeah so I lied I lied I did know half the cast which is enticing to me like I don't necessarily watch a show because I know who they are but sometimes I totally do right like anything uh, Broken Lizard comedy group like the Super Troopers uh, Club Dread, uh, Puddle Cruiser, uh, you know, any of those things. They're all things that I flock to as soon as they come out. Beer Fest, because I very much have enjoyed what they have provided as far as their comedy, their their takes on things. Um, you know. But, I, you know, I don't always poo-poo a show because I don't know who's in it, though, too. I definitely take chances on things. Takes about six days. Get out of here, bro. Took you longer than a week to watch the show, but you did plow through it, though. You did plow through it. I remember, like, I feel like we were... So, I started watching it because HTG Joey suggested it. 
And I think I was like halfway done with it, watching casually, like an episode a night or every other night or a couple here and a couple days off, a couple here. You know, wife and I were watching it with a couple of other shows and uh, Gray just hopped on him, went flying right by us. And, he, <laughs> and that was it. Oh, How I Met Your Father is also good. OK, well, you said it was, but you said it wasn't as good. So that like didn't make me want to jump right in. You know, we, we, uh, we, been, I mean, it's, it seems like every time we finish something we like, we're jumping right into something else that we've either been waiting to return or just start like, like Ozark. Like we just did that, um, finished that. And then we're watching Barry and we finished season two and then boom, season three came out. Um, you know, Stranger Things, you know, we binged the crap out of that. Like, you know, and then of course, Obi-Wan and, um, there's something else that's coming soon. I'm trying to remember what it is that we're looking forward to. Can't remember, though. Something's coming back. I think Brooklyn Nine-Nine is supposed to be getting one more season, too. Um, also a great show. <laughs> All right. I'm going to peel off right here and go fill her up. Wish I had a turbo, bro. Uh, I thought so, but I thought they were coming back for one more. I know there's a talk of a movie, too. I'm pretty sure that when, when they finished the last one, they were supposed to be done, but I thought they got signed for another season. I could be wrong on that. And I know that there's a lot of talk about them doing a movie, too. Which would be interesting. Sort of like Bob's Burgers, right? Bob's Burger was talking about for a long time, and they finally got a movie. It's out this weekend, or yeah, this week, whatever. Turbo ADHD. Yeah, I've heard the plot for the movie too is all about like uh, you know they have the Halloween every year they have like the I don't remember what they call it but it's like the great briefcase escape or whatever and they try to lock in and, and steal the case and the key and it became this big thing every year. It's supposed to be one more like, you know, one of those and the whole movie is based around everybody setting up and misdirecting everybody else and um, yes and uh, Better Call Saul is excellent as well. We um, we're, in the, we're in the works of the final season there too. I think we might have one or two episodes of was it five? What whatever the one this last one is. We might be current on that too. I, I can't remember. It's been a week or two since we've watched that. We got into uh what else have we been watching? I'm trying to remember. I've been rewatching that seventy show again because that ninety show is coming soon, which is gonna be killer. Um there's something else we're watching though. What is it? We've been watching a show called Our Flag Means Death, which is pretty interesting on HBO. Um, God, I know there's something else that we're watching. I can't think of what it is, though. Oh, Winning Time. We've been watching Winning Time on HBO. It's all about the Lakers. Really crazy show. It's, it's all about basketball, but it's not about basketball at all. So figure that one out. Um that's a really good show. It's all about how the Lakers got bought and how by a real estate mogul and how it's crazy. Like I know a lot about basketball, but I know nothing about like th there's so much to be learned on this. And it's all supposed to be based on a true story. And lots of people have come forward and been like, yeah, that's how it happened. Or people have been like, man, I can't believe they're depicting me in this way. And everyone's like, bro, that's how you acted. <laughs> He's like, no, I didn't. <laughs> it's actually really good. 
Gray's out of here, huh? Bye, Gray! Aye! Yeah, I can't remember where we're at in that, Brad, but we definitely enjoy that show. Uh, that's definitely one that we've been watching. I know there's something else that I'm just forget. Oh, Big Mouth. We've been watching Big Mouth, which is crazy to me because, like, I mean, I know it's a show sort of designed for teenage life, right? And my wife, that's what she deals with. She's a teacher, and she's been a high school teacher. This year, she's a middle school teacher. Next year, there's a flip of the coin. She might go back to middle school, or she might move to the high school, um, which is kind of breaking news, developing news. Um, so uh, all of that said, you know, it's right up her alley of all the things she has to deal with. And But it's like the stuff is so off the wall. And, and I mean, in some ways, it's dirty, right? Like sort of almost perverted, but also very real like even if you don't want to admit that that's how society and people are that's largely how a lot of people act and think um big mouth's funny nick kroll is hilarious i i like him in everything he does and of course i can't say his last name but jason mons monsanakis or Mon monsasas or he plays rafi in the league one of my favorite characters of all time in any show rafi is just terrible he's terrible but he's like the greatest at being terrible that's another show that I wish would get brought back like I know it died and I and I kind of understand why it died I mean you can only have so many shenanigans and you know fart jokes and stuff before it becomes old but I really enjoyed that show too yeah I don't really like animated shows I I, I, I my wife is like I said my it's it's being watched for my wife's enjoyment but I would be lying if I said I didn't enjoy it. like there's so much so much that I'm like blown away like this is so childish and like ridiculous like why are we even wa and then my wife's like ha, 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 ha. and I'm like all right she's enjoying it let's keep going and Nick Kroll is hilarious like I do like Nick Kroll and like everything he does but I, yeah I, I traditionally like I, I haven't been able to get back into um, family Guy. I do watch Bob's Burgers from time to time. I don't mind that one. But for whatever reason, I just don't. Like, South Park's really hard for me to watch. And I think a lot of it's the content, right? Like, the content's just so controversial and, and in your face. And, you know, a lot of it's designed to poke fun and, and sort of, like, I don't know. I don't want to say bully, but, like, call out groups or people or moments you know and, and although some of it's very educational or needing to be discussed a lot of it's just you know and family guys just nonsense all the time which i used to love i just i don't know i have a hard time harder time tracking with it i prefer things that are i don't know i i think that's why i i do sort of accept the big mouth more is that it is real like all the stuff they have i mean Obviously, I never had a puberty monster. At least I don't think I did. But, um, you know, beyond that aspect of it, like the the, the, the spots that are in. Oh, the other show we're watching, Future Man. It's on Hulu. Future Man. Futterman. That's a weird show. Very adult-based. Lots of same type of stuff that happens in Big Mouth is happening in Futterman. But it's like real people, not cartoons. And even that's kind of hard to watch sometimes. But it's it's good, though. I enjoy it. Sci-fi mixed with, like, teenage fart jokes and stuff. Might be worth a go if you got Hulu. And you're uh, above the age that it's recommended for. Certainly don't want to be responsible for sending, a, you know, a bunch of youths to go watch it. Because it's not for kids. <laughs> like, not at all for kids. Not even slightly. I think I told you guys, we started watching it like two years ago, three years ago. Reese was a little younger and, and we were all having family dinners and we would eat dinner and watch a show together. And we started watching that one because it looked fun and it was sort of seemingly based off a book that I read. And I've still never been able to confirm that, um, but I haven't been able to deny it either. I and mean, I haven't really spent much time, but um, ultimately there's some really 
greasy stuff. And it just seemed inappropriate to watch with Reese and also with my mother-in-law. You know, like <laughs> some things you just don't need to cross over into. And it was very, it's it's a very sexual show in some ways. Um, but it's weird because it's like all dumbed down because it's it's from a lot of its future. Well, my headset just shut off for a second. Um, a lot of it's based in the future or concepts are futuristic. And so that being said, like, um, you know, sex is not part of the storyline that they're telling. I mean, it is, but it's not. It's, um, it's they can't reproduce, so they don't use it for that at all. Um, yeah, it, it's interesting. It, it's, it's a different show. But it's also very crass and inappropriate. <laughs> Uh, uh, what is it? Netflix is F for family. Is it, uh, is that animated? I, I, I'm pretty sure I've seen that on Netflix before, but I don't think I know anything about it. I, I like Bill Burr, but I've, I'm not like, I, like I've only seen like one of his standups. I liked him in, was it the Mandalorian that he was in? Um, but beyond that, I don't, know that I can think of him in anything else. So like, I, I know who he is, but for whatever reason, I have I have a friend who I went to high school with, one of the funniest people I know, and swears that Bill Burr is the funniest person on the planet. And he, he watches every time there's a new special, or, you know, it's been months since he's talked about a special, like he, this dude Gabe is always Bill Burr it up, dropping Bill Burr lines and all sorts of stuff. Most of the time I have no idea what he's talking about, because I don't know Bill Burr that well. But, um, yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll check it out. I know that Human Resources is supposed to be basically like a side shoot off of Big Mouth. So whenever, if and when we ever finish Big Mouth, we're only like in season two or something. I think there's four or five seasons. I don't even know. Last family, going to family, other things relevant. Oh, that's cool. I definitely like some 80s stuff. I'm a, I'm a sucker for my childhood. Boy, I, I'm wondering if we're going to get to another yard. I mean, there's 30, 40 minutes left of today's expected stream. And I mean, I'm still I'm still 20% away from finishing this guy. <laughs> Clearly going to have to get the string trimmer out. So, and Brad, I haven't had a chance to ask you yet. Um, thoughts on the God of War show that they're making for, I think it's, is it Amazon? I feel like it's Amazon that's making the uh, God of War one. I know Netflix is going after the Horizon Zero Dawn, or Horizon. I don't, I don't know if it's Zero Dawn. I think it's just Horizon. Um, and then... Um, Gran Turismo is also getting a show, which I believe was Netflix based. But yeah, so first question, I, I'm, I'm sure you're excited, right? I mean, that, that, that's kind of a rhetorical question, but I mean, what do you think about that? And who do you want to see play Kratos? Kirsten and I were talking about it the other day. I, I, I'm, I'm really like interested in the Horizon one. You know me, God of War. I, I, I'll, I'll likely watch it, but I'm not like going to be upset if like, I, I don't think I have a preference of cast, is what I'm getting at. Uh, whereas I do have a preference. Like, I would love to see Ashley Birch, the voice of Aloy, put on a wig to have the red hair and go out and do it. Like, I, I, Kirsten at one point said, well, she doesn't really look like Aloy. Like, and, and I don't disagree with that, you know, but you put on a wig and some makeup and some, you know, face paint stuff, right? Boom. It's close enough that we're not going to have a problem with it, I don't think. And she's going to sound like Aloy, something we've been used to for a long time. So I feel like I personally would rather have maybe a slight visual change to the main character than I would have the audio be completely different. There's nothing worse than like watching a show that you've watched forever and having a new voice cast, right? Like somebody else playing. Like I'm trying to think of what it was. There, there was something that was really big. What was it? something really big a long time ago that somebody played the voice and then they switched to somebody else and it was like, 
What is that? It'd be like, okay, this is a dumb, <laughs> dumb reference, but like, Garfield has always been Bill Murray. It would be so dumb to have somebody not Bill Murray doing the voice of Garfield, right? I mean, at some point you got to change it, but um, you know what I mean, though. Like for me personally, you know, and, and there, there's always the chance too. Like, like Ashley Birch might want nothing to do with that role, right? So it might not have anything to do with that. Like she may not be interested. I know she's an actress. She's more of a voice actor than than, but she's definitely done a lot of. Uh, acting in Mythic Quest. Um, she's done producing and directing for Mythic Quest as well, which is a show on Apple TV all about game development. Hilarious. Love it. Hey, gaming is life. Thanks for the sub. Welcome to the channel. Hopefully you enjoy our content. But, you know, uh, somebody was saying, like, uh, I've seen some people say Dave Barista should be Kratos. I've seen, uh, I've seen somebody suggest that it should be, um, uh, Dwayne the Rock Johnson. I've seen uh, I've seen a lot of different like you know big bulky dudes be suggested. Um, I, I I don't know who the right person for that role is. You definitely don't want to put like uh, you know you don't want to go with somebody like uh, Paul Rudd or something right. Like you want somebody that fits sort of that body type, but at the same time you don't want like. Paul Blart either, right? Like, you know, so um, you know, depending on how you look at it, too, I mean casting these days is a lot more open and diverse than it used to be. Um, you know, I, I mean in theory, Kratos has always been sort of a lighter skinned character but I, you know I don't have any problems I wouldn't be against you know somebody with you know a little bit of Islander or you know a little extra color of sorts right like I, I think that the possibilities are pretty open for but there's I don't think there's one person at least I haven't had anybody go this is who it is and me go oh dude perfect like I don't I don't know that there is a perfect Kratos, right? Like, I don't think who who voices who does the voice for Kratos. It's, it's not, it's not like one of the big. It's not Troy or Nolan or any of the main names, right? Do we know who? I'm sure you do. Um, yeah. Well, hey, when Meg Meg's voice changed, that was weird. But that was early enough that I don't think it mattered. Did they change Cleveland's voice? I don't remember they changed that. When did they change Cleveland's voice? Was that something they've done recently? Jason Momoa for Kratos? M Momoa? Yeah. I don't dislike that concept, but, but I do wonder if he's too tall. Not that they can't pull some tricks on stage or filming or whatever, right? I mean, like, Tom Cruise is a lot shorter than we've given him credit for in the past, right? But we didn't know that right away. At least I didn't. Not until the Family Guy episode aired where he was super short and being carried around like a little baby. That was so stupidly funny. <laughs> um, but yeah. Uh, Christopher Judge. Okay, so that, that's the guy who does the voice. What, what, what kind of like body type is he? Is he like, is he somebody that might be able to? Because again, I, I personally feel like you can doll up some CGI. You can do costumes. You can make a body bigger or maybe smaller. Uh, you know, you can have the characters fast or do whatever. I mean, we've seen some pretty dramatic body type changes for a casting, you know, role. But like the voice to me, like like if you've never had a voice before, right? Like like here's something that I'm okay. And and please don't tell me if you know the answer to this. But this is something that's really been sort of intriguing me, but also sort of stressing me out on, on a level. So I hope I, what I'm about to say, I don't ruin anything for anybody out there. Cause I don't, I don't want to know the answer to the end of this story. Right. But some of this story may be some new information to people, but I don't think it'll ruin anything. So here's a question I have. Obi-Wan Kenobi has his new show on Disney Plus, right? Just started this last, I think, Friday. It is taking place 
in the time right after episode three, right? So leave now if you haven't seen Star Wars. <laughs> Seriously, okay? <laughs> or hit mute. In the movie, and at the beginning of the show, they even do a recap of the movie where Obi-Wan and Anakin have sort of the, the high ground battle, right? And the story takes place, the ben, Obi-Wan Kenobi takes place right after that. So what I'm getting at is, is the death of Anakin and the birth of Vader, right? They're, they're one and the same. Uh, it happens in the movie. And, and so now here we are in the show. I've only watched the first episode. So I don't know what happens in episode two yet. And, and it may be revealed. This answer may be, but don't tell me. Don't tell me. Vader is part of this storyline. That shouldn't be news. That's old. That's old. Anakin in the movie was played by Christian something. Christian. I, I, can't, I can't think of his last name right now. But, but anyways, the actor has returned to play Vader. I even read that he had a, what, what did they call it? A Vader, a, a Vader posture coach on set. I, I don't know if that's the right term they used, but essentially they had a specialist, a, 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 an expert on Vader. I'm not sure who it was, but the clothing, the walk, the, everything about Vader was supposed. So here's my question. And I don't want the answer to it, but this is totally relevant to what we're talking about. I promise. Vader has been voiced by somebody forever, right? James Earl Jones. Um, what is the point of having Christian back to be the guy in the suit? If James Earl Jones voice is going to be the speaking, right? Right, right. Why have this really high end guy who never really ever even played Vader to begin with, right, in the movies. I mean, his role in the story is totally Vader, but physically Christian, whatever his name is, never played Vader, right? So I don't want the answer, but but if they have his voice and not James Earl Jones for Vader, it's going to be hard to watch, right? But the fact that it it's Christian, I don't think it'll matter because unless they remove the mask a lot and show his face it's not gonna be relevant like right like so i would rather there be some willy-nilly dude that we never see in the suit with james Earl jones voice for that continuity that continuation that same that like that same stuff versus having somebody somebody new even if it's christian right so i'm guessing that if there's any mask off moments that it'll be him but Maybe with the mask on, it'll be there. But again, I don't want to know. Don't tell me. You'll get banned faster than... I don't know. <laughs> faster than Joey? I don't know. <laughs> Joey's been known to get banned pretty quick. For saying silly things. For intentionally attacking me in a fun way. I, I'm not being negative. I, I got nothing but love for Joey. Although I did bash him pretty hard in a fun-loving way the other day, and I don't think I ever heard back or a response from him, so I'm hoping that we're still friends. Joey, don't help me. Hurt me. David Prowse is he he's the original Vader in the suit but see again like it's it, like for me it's just that voice like I'm so used to the voice like if it's visually gonna look the same or almost the same right because usually different versions like we we get like a, a Luke wearing certain outfits in you know the third or fourth movie and the fifth movie and this like it, it's a little different each one right like uh, same with Poe and all the people we've met. There's vari different variations of suits. Finn gets different outfits, different movies. Um, Ray does too. So, so I mean, like, 
the visual stuff isn't as big as like the personality or the actual voice behind it. I, I, that's but that's just me, right? Like, and again, just like I was saying earlier with the Star Wars free roam stuff, like no matter what choice I make, I am going to disappoint a group of people, whether it's large or small. And that applies to everything. Like somebody was saying that, you know, the, they asked me how I thought The Last of Us 2 was earlier. And I said, I liked it. And then I said, they always could have gone and done something different, but I very much enjoyed the story. Now, to me, I was really saying I enjoyed it. I know a lot. Of, I was kind of acknowledging that people didn't like the storyline, but I was commenting that I did. And the response was, yeah, I thought they could have done better, too. Not hating on the comment or the person or anything. Just saying, like, my take on it was I thought it was good, even though I know people didn't care for it that much. I did. And, and then, you know, and the response. So, so the opinion was that they thought it should have been different or could have been better. And, and again, nothing's wrong by that. I'm not trying to call out the user or make a big deal out of anything. I'm just saying, like, you can't please everyone. One choice does not always sit the same with everybody you know you get in the car you want to watch a a, a movie as, as a passenger right going on a road trip which movie are you gonna watch well let's watch this ah let's not watch that that movie's terrible you know or music playlist hey i got a playlist of the 80s the 80s i hate the 80s you know and there's always going to be that one or you know in some cases lots of people that uh you know don't have the same thought process or likes or needs you know, I, I, I've had some discussions uh, uh, with the Lego Star Wars stuff regarding free roam, and, and I've kind of been laughed at at least once. And, and, and the person was telling me, like, bro, I finished this game, like, weeks ago. It is so easy. I can do it in my sleep. And, um, you know, and my response was, well, not everybody has the same feeling. Like, this game may be super easy for you, but maybe you really struggled with Lego Incredibles or something where... The people who didn't struggle with Lego Incredibles are struggling with this. Like, everybody's pathways, likes, needs, they're all different. A lot of overlap, a lot of similarities. Sometimes you lock up. But, I mean, even my wife and I, like, we agree and have a lot of things that, like, we can go into an argument with somebody or a debate, like, at a, at a big rally or something. with all, And we would largely be saying the same things, but there's definitely things that we don't necessarily a hundred percent line up with you know and there's things that i don't understand that she does and vice versa too right like not everybody has the same upbringing the same knowledge the same expectations you know like we actually had a conversation right before stream and and, and i won't get into it at all it's not a big deal and, and, and there was no fight or anything but like i could see her kind of get big eyes and be like kind of like dude just shut up you know like Listen, we're not going to agree on this. Just stop, you know. And, and again, it was nothing like fight worthy or anything like any of that. But, um, you know, just again, furthering the point that, you know, my wife and I are like two peas in a pod. We get along. We love most of the same things. We have similar, you know, goals, similar everything. Right. Which is why we ended up together and why we got married and why we had a kid and why all the da 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 da. But even in our perfect world um you know not everything adds up the same two plus two doesn't always equal four between us oh, let's see here kirsty says could you please shout out my friend please he has a small youtube channel his name is ronnie bladden uh, is his youtube channel name ronnie bladden my first piece of advice would be to change the youtube name to something that people might remember uh, but uh, what's up? Welcome to the stream, Kirsty, and uh, you know Ronnie. Good luck with your YouTube stuff. We don't generally do like shout outs for other channels and such. Uh, we always recognize people and interactions, but um, you know we don't necessarily use this platform to self promote other people. As you might notice, there's not a ton of people watching my stream right now. And, uh, you know, I definitely am not trying to uh, <laughs> send the people that are here somewhere else, if you know what I'm saying. And not that they necessarily would or wouldn't, uh, but, uh, you know, we have some people that help out that I do definitely try and help spread the word and help promote. Um, but for the most part, we don't. That, that's not what we're known for. If, if your buddy wants a shout out, though, um, you know, we do have Patreon shout outs that, that are textual and verbal. But you would have to be a Patreon supporter at, you know, $5 a month or $10 a month. 
which you could do it for one month and get a shout out. Um, and at that point, if you wanted to put the channel name or whatever, I would legit shout that out for you. So uh, that's something that we do every month. And it just so happens that shout out day is tomorrow. Game breaks always happen on the last day of the month, and it is tomorrow. So uh, we'll be doing that. And normally we do our game breaks at 5 p.m. Uh, for a couple of reasons. One, so that we could have them happen and not interfere with our daily regular stream schedule but because our stream schedule is so light right now it actually doesn't affect it for tuesday and um and i have some stuff going on in the evening so i will likely uh well i've decided that i'm going to do it at 10 a.m tomorrow so but act fast because uh i've actually already produced the assets for tomorrow's game break but i could certainly do the shout out change if need be but it is work. So the sooner the better. But by, you know, by 5 or 6 o'clock tonight, my time, which is about 3, 4 hours from now, um, that will that door will close and uh, I won't have time to change any of the assets before tomorrow's stream. And, and you know, hey, whatever's clever. I, I'm not expecting anybody to do anything. Patreon is above and beyond anything we could have ever asked anybody to do. We're grateful for all the people that support us there. Uh, as well as here too, right? We got our HTG members, which is, uh, you know, active. Hence why we have some, uh, you know, I haven't seen any flexing today, though. Surprised y'all haven't used your, oh, maybe you've already used your flex for the month. Although you better get your May flex in now, because it's almost June. Because you only get one a month, right? Watch, here they come. Three, two, one. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> That'd be funny. And there it is. <laughs> Nailed it. All right, I feel like I got a really good chunk right here in the middle. And I think that I'm going to get my percentage. I might need the string trimmer for those horsey hurdles, but is that what those are actually called too? Horsey hurdles? Somebody get me learned on that, please. That just sounds funny. Horsey hurdles. Horsey hurdles. Sweetenly. Even my player in game is shaking his head now. Bad joke, dude. Bad joke. <laughs> hey, hey Mohammed, what is up? Hey, glad we could help out with the Clone Wars. That's awesome. It's awesome. I'll apologize now for Doug's lack of Star Wars knowledge. That that's always either really annoying or really funny to people. There's really not an in between. I mean, I guess there's some people that just don't even care or don't notice, but. I mean, like, you know, he calls things like laser guns and stuff instead of blasters. And like, there's just all sorts of things that, you know, like true Star Wars fans are like, what? I get comments all the time on it. I'm like, my bad. Sorry, Doug didn't know. And we didn't know that. Like when Doug volunteered to do that series, I was actively working on something else. I don't remember what it was. And um, he's like, yeah, I'll do it. No big deal. And yeah. We had no idea he had never seen a Star Wars movie. And that's pretty funny. All right, so I will need the string trimmer. Whoop, 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 whoop. <sighs> Driving one-handed is very tricky. Get off. All right, let's go ahead and fill her up. And it's 50 bucks no matter how damaged the blades are. That's a little much, if you ask me. All right. Get 
this yard all nice and tidied up. I'm not thinking we have enough time for another level today. Normally I would say, no big deal, let's go over a little bit. But because the family is home today... Uh, I know that we discussed going for a walk with the dog. I, 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 that's something I've been doing every day. I don't, I don't think I've shared that with you guys, but I've been trying to eat a little healthier. Not as much fudge sticks and, like, you know, junk food. Uh, I still eat some, as you guys know. I, I am human. Uh, but I, I've been walking the dog every day. And, um, you know, not a crazy long walk or anything, but it definitely gets the old heart pumping. And um, we have this hill called... Mount Camella, and um, it's just like a pretty steep hill. I mean, it's definitely a 45 degree angle. Like it's, I mean, it, it's. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to bump the mic. It's, it's like not a fun hill, um, but it, it works out those calves and all those lower muscles in the legs. And uh, I tell you what, if I can start throwing a few push-ups and sit-ups into this mix, I might be a transformed man by the end of summer. We, uh, you know, we talked about getting that bike forever and ever and ever, and then just I sort of gave up on that. And and the reason we didn't, what? Weird. I don't think I've ever seen that. Uh, more grass to pick up. So clearly, I was like moving too fast or something through there. Um. Dun, 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 dun. But yeah, uh, trying to stay healthier. That was the moral of that story. So I don't think it matters if I finish up this stuff or not, but it may give me a better rating. But I also wonder if I missed any other piles of grass. Can you see those by... Ooh, so yeah. How I can't can't see those. Cuz I get fined for leaving grass behind, but see like it doesn't show. Like when I t huh So I wonder if the PS5 version, or maybe it just got updates since I've last played, if that is playing a part in this. Like, it just does more realistic things. Like, when I go too fast, it goes, uh, it drops a lot more grass or something that leaves behind. But I wish you could see it, but you can't really target your grass. All right, let's get the crap out of here. 75 minutes it took. What? That's a wee bit. All right. Ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. All right, so... Cleanup fees, zero. So I didn't... I, I must have got them all. Got to get them all. Got to get them all. All right, one, two, three, four. Oh, I missed that. It would have been cool if it would have been five. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Booyah Kashao established. Earn the company RP title of a staff. Okay. So that's cool. Sort of. Uh, only got one trophy this week. Last week we got like six. Okay. So. Has anybody platinum this? Uh. I don't think I can hire another employee. Five waiting. So I know I have to start off as something like, so I'll probably have to start off with an apprentice because I think there's a trophy for that, right? So Steam, federal established, credible, positive word of mouth, all hands on deck, blah, 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 good. First, many. 
Teamwork makes the dream work, perhaps? Hire your first employee. Train an employee from apprentice to expert. Okay, so when you hire a new employee, they will start out at a random rank. For the most part, they'll all start at proficient, so you may need to wait a few before the rank of apprentice shows up. Lucky me. So I should definitely hire this dude now. $250 a week. Boy, you can shout. Um, and that was for simply just hiring my first guy. Now I need to, uh, let's see here. You'll be able to hire new employees at the start of three types. So credible. So established rank, credible rank. So they, the new guys become available based on how established I am. So that's good to know. Um, let's see here. Apprentice shows up. You can deny employment to potential hires, rotate. When someone shows up at the apprentice rank, hire them. As they complete contracts, they'll earn their own RP and level up. You can also train them once per day in either time management, advanced driving, or vehicle maintenance. Time management trains up to level three, advanced driving up to level three, and vehicle maintenance up to level three, giving you nine days to earn additional RP. The training menu is located under the personal tab of the employees. Uh, so yeah, there's train, but I can't, I can't, oh yeah, there we go. Um, see where, uh, where I lost uh, training menu is located on the personal tab then select employees okay and I did and then choose the respective employee and then go to train when choosing contracts to complete give your employee the highest rewarding RP contract to complete Mon the highest monetary reward doesn't always the same as the highest RP. So I have to be aware of that. I've been simply just chasing them Dallas. Uh, you must complete your contract in order for your employees to complete there. So make sure you're not exiting out of yours early. So that's right. So I do need to set it up. So basically down the road, what I was doing was I had a couple of employees and I would assign them to the bigger tasks and then I would do the smaller ones. And once I finished my small one, they would also finish the big one. Now there's some that are actually just litter patrols where I just run around and find like 10 or 15 pieces of litter on the grounds and then I'm done with the contract so that makes their days go even faster when I'm doing those contracts so I can do like the big ones that take me an hour hour and a half now I can put an employee on those later and then they will do those and it'll take them the, the amount of time it takes me to finish any other contract so that's pretty cool uh that'll speed things up but it says continue to do contracts and training them up as you can uh, after about two to three weeks of contracts, they will have enough RP through each rank all the way to expert. As soon as they reach the rank expert, they will. Okay. So basically time management accept. Okay. So my employees being trained, I, I can only do one per day. And then let's just real quick. See if I have a litter contract. Cause if I do, then I could put him out in the field and let's see here. They all look like, uh, I don't have enough string trimmers. Okay, so I have to buy. Oh, no. I should have enough loot, though. Uh, so headquarters. Edit player. No, let's see. That's not it either. Back at the garage, right? So shop. Okay. So Oh, I don't have enough room for. Okay, so I may have made a mistake. By, I might have jumped the gun hiring him. He may have gotten $250 out of me for nothing. Let's go ahead and uh, where's the string trimmers? Options. No. Should be. So those are all the mowers, but where are the trimmers? I know there's a place you can buy them, but where? Purchase HQ average. Maybe I can't yet because I have to. Hmm. Yeah, that has to be done, I think. So I have to wait a week to even get him going. Dang it. Well, at least I got my apprentice. I'll have to weed out some of these kinks next week and see how it all works out. But ultimately, uh, hopefully I didn't put myself in a bad spot what's this how are you i'm hoping your day has been pleasant my name is a marketing director at and i would like to tell you about 
Sumo Paint. Application with capabilities often found in more expensive image manipulation programs. It's going to be tools that subtly smudge, tint, alter images. For 12 years in its conception, Sumo Paint has grown by word of mouth. How about publishing short clips about Sumo Paint on your media platforms? We believe this will help increase the influx of new users to Sumo Paint. Okay. Uh... So it literally says, we believe this will help increase the influx of new users, but it doesn't say anything about like, we'll give you access to the program. We'll pay you for it. Like, it just literally says, Hey, we've got this awesome program. We want you to use it. Can you tell people about it? It'll help us grow, but nothing about compensation or why I would want to use it or anything like that. It's interesting. Guerrilla marketing. We'll just bulldozer him and hopefully he'll say yes. No. All right, guys. Uh, thanks so much for hanging out. Again, happy Memorial Day to you guys all out there, especially those who have uh, served and done stuffs. Uh, much love to you all. I will be uh, around tomorrow for game break. Normally, we would probably take it off as Apex is dead. And um, Tuesday's always been our Apex day. So uh, Wednesday, we'll be back with uh, Agent Intercept, which was that... I thought it was a hilariously awesome, fun game uh, where I was in a boat and in a car and a snow skier. Um, and we were all over the place blowing stuff up. And there's all these tasks you have to do. And surprisingly, I was getting a lot of them done. So I'm pretty excited for that. Um, and then Friday, like I said, as it sits right now, um, unless I find something gooder, this is on the docket for Fridays. And and this, you know, is subject to change. Um We'll see what happens. I love. I really like this game. Love is maybe not the right word, but I really do enjoy this game. Something about it just feels so different. I like these kind of adventure type games. Um, it almost, in a way, reminds me of like an infamous or something. Just the scouring of the town and jumping and flying around and these abilities and stuff. Like that's probably the closest game that I can pair up with this. And infamous was awesome. So, uh, you know, I don't know how much you guys loved or hated it, but uh, whenever I bring it up, it's pretty quiet. So I don't know if that means good or bad things. But as it sits, that's the schedule for the rest of the week. I will be talking about that and much more at the game break tomorrow. So hopefully you guys will be around for that. And uh, if not, hopefully I'll see you on some of our future streams. But uh, you guys know the drill. Head on over to any of our social medias. If you haven't already, please check out happythumbsgaming.com. Uh, you know, as for uh, me, I'll be around tomorrow, probably, hopefully. Hopefully you see you there. As always, until next time. Soil.